All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. We got a new patch today. Not, of course, adding all the new sieves yet. I think that's a couple weeks away still, but we do a patch 8.2.218. We're going to take a look at the patch notes real quick for anybody uh, kind of trying to follow what's going on. And from there, we'll be jumping into some FFA games and all that sort of good stuff. So, yeah, a little bit early. Look at that. I know. It never happens. Gunhound Peeling, how you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. So we're just going to take a quick look over the changes so we can kind of be a little bit familiar going forward. I'm going to be getting more into casting this game, so probably should start learning about the changes. So I'm not a complete potato. So we're going to go down. Here are the first of the basic changes. So updates to repair. So base repair rate increased from 20 to 25 health per second. Okay, that's kind of cool. Obviously, battering rams have been pretty oppressive, and uh, in this patch, battering rams have been hit. They do take a little bit longer to build, and there's a couple other variables as well, nerfing their attack speed by, I believe, 20% when you get to the late game. So we haven't made the lobby yet. We'll make it soon. Repair diminishing returns formula adjusted so their repair with 3 to 10 villagers is approximately 5% slower overall. All right, so this change is an overall reduction to repairing with large numbers of villagers. Our intention here is to specifically target repairs for trebuchet so that defenders have a harder time stalling for longer periods. Okay, interesting. So going to make it a little bit uh, harder. The, the wonder defenses will be a little bit trickier for sure. Um, they will. <clears throat> all right. Balance gameplay changes. So this is for all civs. Lightweight beams, attack speed bonus. So lightweight beams is the Imperial Age upgrade for the battering ram. And it looks like it's been lowered from 40 to 20%. So that, that's definitely a big nerf, which is good. Battering rams are just egregiously cost effective. You don't really see... The old school kind of, uh, I mean, you still see tribes occasionally, especially with like England, but you know, oftentimes you're just seeing ram pushes nowadays. People just spamming like 30 rams and it's, uh, rams are crazy good too, because they're like a distraction for reinforcement. So if somebody's using attack move to get to the front line and there's like rams, they're pushing past the battle, it'll occupy the aggro and the attention of those units. So <clears throat> it's pretty nuts. So rams train time uh, at siege workshops is 30 to 40. I feel like they could have even gone a little bit more on this, like reduce this to like 15% and this up to like, you know, close to 50 or something, but I don't know. Pretty crazy. Bombards cost reduced. So bombards get a cost reduction again, trying to de-incentivize people from using rams and uh, diversifying the artillery portfolio. Removed aim time from a Balkans and added reload time. This makes the unit more responsive while firing, keeping the firing speed the same. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> so it's going to be able to kind of turn and shoot a little bit more efficiently. It won't be as clunky of a piece. You know, I, I don't use those terribly often, but still happy to see the change. Balkan's also getting a cost reduction as well. Boiling oil radius has been increased. It was felt that it was not as good as it should be, which makes sense. Yeah, we'll look at the Mongol Towers. We're going to go over all these. It won't take long. Honestly, the changes, there's not too many. So corrected an issue where composite bows were giving larger than intended attack speed bonus. All right, so it looks like they just kind of did a bug fix with the uh, Abbasid bow upgrade. For China, supervising a building with multiple Imperial officials no longer stacks the bonuses. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's pretty broken. But it looks like it was. Uh, it is still currently possible to have multiple supervisors do a building, but their bonuses do not combine. Wow, that was that was pretty busted. I didn't even know that was a thing. So you could have like three officials just like you know pumping on like upgrades or imperial age tech. That's pretty good. Delhi Sultanate. So the first Madrasa built each game uh, grants three free scholars. Wow, that's actually pretty cool, including the Hisar Academy. So this is going to be, I believe, the Madrasa is the imperial age landmark, right? It's basically their. Uh, their big old final tech building. So getting, getting three scholars will give Delhi a little bit of a surge into the Imperial Age upgrades, which I think is rad. So I like that. Red Palace landmark grants uh, town centers and keeps reduce. Okay, this is a great change and I'll explain why. So the red the range of the Red Palace and town centers have been reduced to uh, 10 to 9.5 for the Arbalist upgrades. Because the thing is before the Red Palace bombards have, I believe, 10 range. So the Red Palace was able to snipe Bombard Cannons and it was super obnoxious, like super, super obnoxious. Uh, so now Bombard Cannons are going to be able to outrange uh, the Red Palace and Town Centers, which is a good change. It was pretty obnoxious, honestly. French are already super annoying in um, FFA, so yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah, it's it's not the worst upgrade though, Arena. It's not terrible. Minework Palace, so Riveted Chainmail uh, has been reduced and oh wow, so cost reductions on both of the Minework upgrades, which I think with like really good micro... If you're actually good at like prelate control in the map, like the mine work might be the way to go. I mean, those upgrades are really good. Getting permanently upgraded spearmen with armor and also getting knights that have just good stats is pretty sauced. Um, and this is a really cool upgrade. I love this. So launch neck to get the uh, get the 80 to 85 HP at uh, Castle Age and then 85 to 100 in Imperial, I think is what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, how they're trying to... Yeah, but basically... Oh, no, it's just an overall increase. Okay. 
So yeah, the Lance, uh, Lance neck, I think is how you say that, they got upgraded. So those bad boys are going to be tankier, which is cool. I certainly could see them included more, especially in Imperial Age once you get the, uh, you know, some of the upgrades for them then. Malians, Musa Fadi stealth duration increased. Um, honestly, I almost never see anybody really use the stealth stuff, but I bet you in like high level 1v1 it's more relevant. But in FFA, it's usually something we don't see too often, but <clears throat> that's cool. Precision training technology increases javelin damage from two to three. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. So a little bit of a javelin upgrade as well. War pug, thank you for the 999. More pugs, more dude. I love pugs, dude. Pugs are great little dogs. More AOE. Yes, you got it. <laughs> Sounds good, Daniel. Yeah, if it's up, I'll, I'll take a look. All right, new technology, Pax Mongolica. So 300 stone and 700 gold. Outpost gained three fire armor. Okay, so they become more resilient. 30% HP. And outpost changed to stone outpost visual. Oh, available at the Uvu and the Imperial Age. Holy shit. Do you know how annoying that's going to be in Wonder Defenses? Mongols getting all these like raid boss towers like in their corner. Oh man, that's a big FFA upgrade. Not so, In 1v1, it's probably not as relevant. It's still good. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a really nice upgrade. Wow. So Mongols are going to be able... It's expensive though. 700 gold is a lot and 300 stone is substantial too. But that's a big upgrade for Mongol like tower defense kind of play style. Yeah. Hey, there you go, Nomad. Well played. Step Lancer. Upgrade moved from Imperial to Castle Age. Improved Step Lancer's upgrade. I actually don't know what that does off the top of my head, so I'm going to have to look into that. Double Villager production. Uh, yeah, so they basically buff the Villager double producing, which it doesn't get used too often as far as I've seen, but that's cool. Ottomans. Istanbul Observatory Landmark produce uh, production speed bonus increased. Okay, so they're trying to make this landmark a little bit better. And Sipahi training time has been increased. This uh, change fixes an issue where CP provides more resources per minute compared to other units when trained for military schools. Got it. All right. Great Bombard changes. Uh, obviously, Bombards have been getting cost reductions in this little patch. So we do see the Great Bombards getting even further reduction. Population reduced from 4 to 3. Attack speed increased from 7.5 to 7. Uh, okay, there you go. Not bad. Yeah, nice little buff in the Great Bombards. And Great Bombard emplacement cost reduced. So yeah, just blanket buffs, all that sort of good stuff. All right, so we're looking at Roos. Roos scouts uh, have had their line of sight reduced, so now it's going to be the same as scouts from all the other civs. The Kremlin has had some nerfs too. Castle Age Kremlin, Militia reduced. Yeah, Militia are pretty nuts. So it looks like the Kremlin have, uh, has been nerfed, mostly the Militia that coming out. Uh, I don't think there's anything pertaining to its damage or tankiness, so yeah. Militia cost per ticket is uh, also more expensive. All right, guys, scrolling down. Uh, yeah, these are known issues. So that's pretty much it. So the big things is the battering rams. So the Mongol towers are going to be very pertinent for our FFAs for sure. And uh, we're going to now get a game all fired up here. So let's do it to it. Yeah, Mongol wonders are going to be a nightmare. Like Mongols will definitely be like, you know, French territory now. It's like, oh yeah, there's a Mongol player. There's a French player. We should probably take them out first because they're just going to, you know, have those nasty corner positions. Yeah, it's very scary because Mongols don't need stone, right, to build their wonder. So they, uh, you know, they're always going to be able to plop those bad boys down very effectively. Absolute nightmare indeed. Yeah, the, one of my worst, one of the worst things to face is like a Mongol um, wonder situation with, uh, <laughs> with like mass springalds and uh, mangonels like sitting amongst the towers. It's just like that's literally hell on earth, dude. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple of FFA tonight. I, I don't know what we're gonna do in total. Um, okay. So somebody's hosting a game, it says Turin's game, but it sure as hell ain't me. And then here's one waiting for Turin. Um, <laughs> and there's only one person in this other one, so I think we could join this one. There's there's four people in there. Are they just going to team up on me? All right, so I'm just going to join this one called Waiting for Turin. And uh, yeah, you guys, I'll host the next one though, don't worry. All right, I actually joined. Here we go. Let's get it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, it's still filling up super quick. Hold on, guys. It'll appear in a second. There you go. All right. All right, so the game is full. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, large. Yes. We got the dreaded host, Dan. Why is Ohio? We got some new names in here, guys. We got some new names. I haven't seen a couple of these players. It's pretty fun. All right, let's see how this goes down. We're going to play a little bit of HRE. You know, I might do a 1v1 after this too. Yeah, I might. I played one last night. All right, cool. And uh, fire it up. All right, is there going to be another game with Chris and everyone else? Uh, probably another 1v1, yes. 
All right, cool. Or uh, FFA, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. My brain's a little out of it right now. To not expect the juke? I, you see, I don't know whose lobby is who, though. You see? Allied said he's going to try and join the next one. Hey, good luck, dude. You, there's no guarantees he'll get in that, but, you know, by all means. Yeah, the patch changes were good. I, I like the... Oh, no, Allied, <laughs> Allied got stuck in this one. And uh, I think he did. Let's see. Yeah, he got stuck in this one, dude. Oh, man. All right. Here goes the first one. Yeah, you were just in the lobby and then you left? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, guys. Let's go time. So we're going to be playing HRE. We're going to be spreading the Jesus. You know, spreading a little sweet, sweet gospel to all of our opponents here. Uh, we got RPG Zombie Tron, Dan. Oh, Dan, you're in chat. Right on, man. We got Wise Ohio. Myself on HRE. Ventus on the Abbasid and Ally Trex on the Mongols. We'll do it. Hey guys, and you know, pertaining to the FFA games, is if my hand eventually gets better, I'll happily do more, but it's a trap. Yes, it is, Pwn. It's a trap. So we got new Mongols. We got French in here. Uh, a lot of scary, scary. The juke was real. Dude, I, I didn't even know. I just, I only saw one or two. And one of them was empty, so. Oh, you can hang out in chat, dude. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So the first thing to find out on these, these accursed maps is if there's water anywhere, right? Because that's, that's the big scary. So let's go see if we can find any water. Okay, so obviously we're going to go here. It could be one of those like mega random maps where like one side has water and the other side doesn't. You know, uh, that, could, that could be the case for sure. Okay, so we got two battle sheep. Sheep ready to go to war. We're going to move these guys up preemptively for the Aachen. And uh, cool, we got villagers popping out. All's good in the beginning. I feel like HRE is the only Civ I can play competently these days. He stayed Mongols by accident. Oh, really? <laughs> That's pretty funny. By the way, uh, I know some people are asking me about the Blood Feud stream. When are we going to have the um, have the the Discord battles where you know we have the the Blood Feuds between our Discord community? I'm gonna probably wait until the expansion comes out um, to schedule like a big fun event like that. So okay, we got a mountain pass here, which is kind of nice. Let's go up there. We could do like a little run by of the base. Outstanding. Turn accidentally picked Mongols. Please spare me. You'll be fine. Mongols are strong. Just build the 500 towers in the corner of the map, and you'll be uh, you'll be chilling. All right. Cool. So the power of Jesus is being uh, given to these workers here. Let's go to the top. And uh, should we just mass land launch next land snakes? No deli fonts. Yeah, I know. He usually is playing deli. It's weird seeing him on a different sieve. Although that. That's something to take into account. Ally doesn't really often play anyone other than Delhi, so he's probably really out of his element. Really out of his element, for sure. I don't know why Google has an issue. I don't know why Google would have an issue. All right, so we got one player up here. It's going to be Nomad. And uh, let's keep cruising down here and see what we can find. Nomad is playing what Civ? He's playing... Uh, oh, he's playing Ottomans. Okay, so there could be some early pressure from him. Ottomans like to get those military schools and get a little crazy. Gotta, gotta respect it. Oh, it's all fine. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy that folks are doing the blood feud idea. We'll, of course, do one of our own when, uh, like, a big stream or something. But I'm happy to hear that uh, people are playing. Okay. Got the sweet Holy Roman jams going down. Going to be aging up here in a second. Hmm, I think I want to... Okay, two relics right there. Three, wow. Okay, holy shit. We, we, need to, we need to get Castle Lake super fast. All right, so let's get you guys, do this, and we can get the Aachen Chapel right there. And then they can jump back to here, get you guys going there. And the power of Jesus. Strong here, dude. Hmm. We see the dreaded Sheep Legion running by. All those relics are basically in the middle, so we need to make sure we get those as HRE. Oh, I could have killed the scout, maybe. I can't wait to die early, says Dan. Oh, Dan, you're going to be fine, dude. Don't stress it. Don't stress it. All righty. People keep running by and just like teasing my, my TC here. I totally could have garrisoned up and killed that, that vill there. Wow. Uh, so we're going to need to find another food source here. So what I'm going to do is probably take all my dudes out here and then go down this way. All right. So we're going to go jump on that sheep. The 75 minute no rush. That's pretty funny. Okay. Could have sworn there was a deer encampment yes. down here. Wasn't there a deer? Oh, it's all the way down here. Okay. okay so we find him. 
And we are going to do this, grab you guys, do that, and have you motivated here. Do this and this. A little bit of a delay. Honestly, don't know if that was worth, you know? Could have been a bad idea. We're going to have to build another prelate here in a minute once we get the gold, but we're going to want double prelate anyway, so. All right. Let's go drop these sheep off. So a little bit of a suspicious position. So we're going to get under these and hopefully be able to take them down. Cool. So we'll need to build another prelate here in a second. Nah, shit. I totally just botched my build order. Damn it. Screwed the pooch. Okay, I'm going to be behind now. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have any wood, so I just totally screwed up. Okay, let's get you on here. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna be more or less okay. It's just a little bit janky. Yeah, although th this is this is gonna mitigate some of that by building the prelate instead. And then we'll get the second prelate in there, and we should be good. Okay. Set up this way. Hopefully nobody like raids our little like food outpost here. This is a very greedy play. Okay, let's do that, and then we can do this. Set up a little house here. The dreaded ten minute supply block. Okay, so people are reaching feudal now. Could be worse, could be worse. That was really ugly though. That like totally is gonna set us back. Okay, so we need fire chuck in here. Motivate those guys. Get a couple of you guys coming down here with the berry bushes of doom. And uh, yeah, the outpost is hanging in there. Wow, look at this mountain pass here. Are you guys seeing this? This is like, this is pretty wild. <laughs> Empty. All right, so we'll do this. Another one of you guys. You guys go here. You guys go here. We have the motivated food down here also. Friar Chuck has given the, the good Jesus. We should probably do a little bit of scouting, see if they're they're like planning some sort of aggression or something. Turn the game sound down a little bit. People are reaching feudal now. Plenty of Roost Bounty on this map. That's for damn sure. Okay, so let's go here and then here, here. We might lose that guy. There's there's certainly a chance. The food is going well. Um, let's turn you guys in. Do that. Have a couple of you guys pop out. Feudal age. Okay. People are reaching feudal. We're all good. Could set up a little tower here to be safe, but I think that's kind of haggard, to be honest. Um, Ottomans with the twin minaret. And are we really? Oh my god. Are you serious? Dan! Thought we were friends. It's going to be raiding my shit here, dude. All right, so we gotta we gotta do a little bit of this then. All right, so let's do this. How dare he do? This is just this is just cruel and unusual. He killed one of my prelates, just slowing me down super hard. This is the kill the kill the dreaded streamer part. Oh god, I gotta watch out. Okay, so we'll get this. Do that. Have you come down here? And yeah, it's a shame we lost that for sure. That was a nice little position. We still might be able to get an effective castle age, and we do have two prelates, so. Could be worse. Um, I just have to hope that I don't get attacked here from the north by Nomad, because if I do, then I might actually be in trouble. The dreaded French Knight, I know. That's a really early one, too, for an FFA game. Thought we were friends, dude. Thought, thought we were homies. All right, so we're back here. We're going to have enough, so let's cut you guys do this. Head over here. Um, we have one prelate and two, so let's get you down here, buddy. And uh, yeah, French Knight's just trolling about. That's uh, very interesting, though. Usually in FFA, people aren't that aggressive. Okay, we need to keep a couple on wood to make sure we don't go bankrupt here. Um, I don't know if Nomad's going to attack, so we need to like sit in the trees. We can bring the the sheep back here. And bring them back. Uh, we'll go here, here, and then back to the... No. Here, here, then back to the trees. Okay. Slowing us down. For sure. But we do have spears now, so we should be fine on the edge of the base. Okay, let's get you guys and do this. Could take the spears over. Let's go see if we can cheese one of these guys down. The dreaded feudal push, I know. Feudal push is like, yeah, it's it's an FFA. It's mainly it'll set both players back. It's like it's like a scorched earth strategy of sorts. Okay, so I I would normally be pretty probably closing in on castle right now. So we're definitely set back a little bit. Dan, how could you? It looks like Dan's making making enemies all over the realm. Okay, these sheep gotta continue their great journey over here. Okay, very close to the age up here. So we're just gonna grab a bunch of the food workers. Do this, and then we're gonna get this. And we can go ahead and slap it like up here or something. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta keep some on here. We have the Spearman of Doom. 
Um, I could make another prelate. Just try and grab the goodies. Mm, do I want to set something up in the mountains here to prevent like a little mountain pass action? Wouldn't be a bad idea, maybe. Try and like secure this. Yeah. That's where we could put our last landmark too. That's actually a really nice spot. Okay, so we're gonna need more barracks. Spears will escort the prelates. The sheep are hustling across the promised land. We'll get you here and here. Make some more spears. We have literally have feudal pressure coming in at us, which is just wild. Okay. Why is there French early feudal pressure on us? It's so weird. It's going to set us back, but he's going to be behind as hell too. Okay. Okay, let's go after that. Do this. Thankfully, I'm not being attacked from the north. That would be really bad too. Okay, let's get you up here. You guys can go here. Set this up. And this prelate needs to go over there too. Still poking around. A little bit of feudal pressure for sure. Alright, so let's do this. Uh, we need to try and get whatever goodies we can. French knights going into the base here. Let's get you guys. Alright, so Relic. Should be able to head him off here. Get you, come back down this way. And then we can have you grab this. And come back over here. It's been some very, very trolly pressure. It's gonna get back this way, get back this way. Knights are coming in, let's turn and spear him. Okay, make another men at arms because we're kind of desperate at this point. Man, we could have so many relics if it weren't for this. All right, let's pull back to the base here. We basically need to get some knights out. That's gonna be the big thing. Okay, you guys do this. Head over here and uh, just jump on the berry bushes for now. Here he comes, relic number one. You're here, and you, buddy, can go grab this one and then come down up and up like so. Okay. So we have a okay little standing army. It's nothing amazing. Um, let's get you on gold. We're going to need to start getting all the gold we possibly can. You come back, grab this. So we're pretty behind now from the raiding, the dreaded feudal raiding. And uh, now we need to find a way to um, let's see this here. Yeah, fortunately the knights are somehow, he's finding a lot of my guys. Okay, let's head down here, screw that together. Uh, we got the tower coming up here, let's set up this wall. And, wow, he's like finding all my shit. I don't, yeah, that's wild. Okay, so yeah, I'm losing a shit ton of stuff, dudes. We could be in actual danger here, straight up. Okay, so let's grab you guys, move in. I think we have gotten at least two relics, which is good. Yeah, we're very behind now. All right, so we need to just get like Aachen farms and get like TCs and all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, so the men at arm upgrade's coming out. Uh, let's get you, Knight, coming too. He's got dudes circling above here, so we can go down and try and get the relics. What we need to get is a, uh, we need to get the what's it called right now. Okay, so people are reaching Castle Age pretty hard. Here we go. Spears for the Spear God. And we can do this. And hopefully just secure that relic. Friar Chuck can come over too and sneak over there. He's lurking in the back of my base here. Granted, I don't really have anything, so it's not too bad actually. Okay, let's get this and get back. And uh, pull this bill back because it's just building unnecessary walls here. And we need to get a marketplace stat to uh, bounce our economy. Okay, so we've been under a ton of pressure here. But we have successfully gotten to Castle Age and we have some relics. Um, let's go ahead and make another knight here. Yeah, we, we would normally probably have like five relics right now if it weren't for this rating. Okay. Okay, so next up we want to do this. So let's make a couple of you. Probably going to play that way. And then you guys can head up to the berry bushes of the gods. Get food upgrades. And uh, yeah, now we just need to stabilize. Alright. Oh man, this pro this guy's like hustling for dear life here. He's still... Oh, is he, he's castle now. Okay, he's castle age. Okay, did we finish that wall off? We did, so it's going to prevent back pressure over there. And then we can get you to drop the relic here. And that's going to be a respectable amount. 
Okay, heading this way. So now we just need to get that Aachen farm economy going, and then we're chilling, basically. That's going to be our best play. Okay, let's do that. Get you in here. And go to the marketplace. Do this. Get a Springald Tower here. That's going to prevent a lot of raiding. And I think we're okay now. There's got to be some people who are just way stronger than us, though. That's my only concern. Like, way, way stronger. All right, we can go do a little bit of raiding down here, too. See what's going on with uh, with Dan. The dreaded raiding lord. Okay, so we got two of you guys. We need to motivate there. Um, let's come up and down and see if we can ninja one of those. Oh, hello. He looks like he might be going straight up all in here. We're going to need a siege workshop, some mangoes and stuff. All right, so we got the stone tower. Knights are going to come out in droves. We just lost the two knights because he's camping outside my base there. I might need to retreat into the hills. I wasn't expecting this sort of feudal pressure. That's for damn sure. Okay. So the farm economy is going to keep getting sauced up. It's going to be a very difficult hold. We're going to need some spring alts to, uh, to just defend. Could do some land snakes. They did get buffed recently. I don't know how much better they are, but it would be kind of a cool thing to give them a try. Okay, let's get this. Come down here and across. And uh, you keep working on the bushes. We have good eco upgrades, but our army is not very good. We get a spring out here stat. And outstanding. What sort of other tech do we want to make? I think just like spamming knights, just using utilizing all of our gold would be smart here. Oh shit, I hate when that happens. Oh, it's the worst. Okay, that's going to be a little bit janky. Um, from here we can get more barracks. Okay, army's getting pretty good. We managed to get another one of these. We do have the good relic income. As a matter of fact, don't have anybody on gold. Ventus is mid-trading. See, we're very high, uh, high focused on our little situation here. Which is unfortunate. I would like to be playing the map a little bit more, but we gotta we gotta stay focused here. Ventus apparently is trading, so I'm gonna build some towers to kind of see, and then we'll take these knights and go do a little exploration. And we can drop the relic there for now. Okay. Okay, we don't need to make springs yet. We don't know where the French army's hiding. Oh, here's someone. Get a little sweet vengeance. It looks like the French are kind of pulling back a little bit. Okay. Might be able to hunt some of those guys down, do a little bit of poke. Uh, do we have a blacksmith yet? We do not. Oh shit, is that a dead end? Oh, that's really unfortunate. We just screwed up. His army's way better than mine. Holy shit. It was a dead end and we just lost a whole bunch of dudes. So we're just going to have to rely on our, uh, our tech here, yeah? To keep us going strong. Let's make some land snakes, pull you back. We do have the spring towers, but we just lost a whole bunch of stuff, which is no bueno. Uh, could start buying up to get the, um, what's it called? Let's see if we can get that last relic. He must be getting attacked by someone else too, because he kind of like pumped his brakes on dealing with us. Okay. It was a dead end there, boys. It was a dead end of doom. So now I think I want to buy some expansions. I would love to be Imperial Age, but I think we just have to try and stabilize. So we can grab Vils. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy my way to a second TC, because otherwise I think we're just going to fall behind. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you do this, and then we can have you guys come up here. Set up that TC. And set up a little satellite post. That's where we're going to put our palace. It should make it pretty hard to kill us. Okay, I think I can chill out now. I think most of the pressure has subsided. Oh, looks like both prelates were... Discovered here by the Chinese. Yeah, we can just let them let them go here. I'm pretty happy with our relic situation, honestly. Okay, so now we need to go Imperial. We just need to we need to find our way to the imp, imp age, the age of imps. Wow, somebody's dying up here. Enemy destroyed Wise Ohio's. So looks like somebody's in the in the pan. All right, so yeah, we slap this down. Let's delete these walls. Keep saving up here. Get you guys. House, house, house. And uh, we're looking good. 
Yeah, we, we're more or less alive now. I, I think we're okay. I mean, we got the relics. We lost a lot of villagers during the raiding, but clearly Dan is just setting up for um, for a corner wonder right now. It's like you see the early French walls coming up. It's usually a sign that such uh, shenanigans are going to be afoot. Do this, and um, where would we set up our, our, our good old palace? Probably up on the hill right there would be a cool spot. Uh, maces, yeah, let's get those upgrades for our boys. We have random towers all over the place. Go set one up in the hills also. TC is going to be finishing on the high ground, and we're just going to spam like multiple TCs here. The middle is, we really, I would like to get my clutches on some of the territory in the middle too. We'll go set up a tower there, see if I can like secure some of those gold veins. In the meantime, no aggression coming from the other side. French are, the French people who attacked us are still Castle Age. Uh, did we ever build a blacksmith? I don't think we did. Cool. All's calm, guys. All's calm. It was a very frenetic start. Let's build those. Allied is still alive. He is. He wasn't my neighbor. I would have aggressed on him. But I was facing the dreaded French. Okay. So let's grab you guys. Do this. Do this. And then we can come up here. Build that. And then they can help out over in that neighborhood. In the meantime, we could just make more units. Make more spears. We need to macro up an army, for sure. So let's just get a whole big blob of dudes. Make some springs. Get the artillery upgrades. I don't think that's going to be a bad idea. I like this. I love this little mountain pass here. This place is awesome, though. Alright, so we got some map control coming down. Make spears. All the upgrades of doom. Got random towers coming. I don't know what the situation looks like over here, so we're gonna go see what that that pass looks like. Oh my god! I just spent all my money. I was gonna go. I I thought I had already started the landmark. It's actually okay. We can we can just do this and expand. Okay, looking cool. Right on. So we'll get back there pretty quick. Shouldn't take too long. I just built... I thought I had already built the landmark. That's why I was like... Okay, so we see Mongols purging a lot of resources off the middle. Um, let's go ahead and slap this down over here. We can upgrade that tower. And just to kind of protect a couple of the gold nodes for us in the, the mid-game here. Granted, with all the relics I have, like, I feel pretty confident. Like, I'm not I'm not hating it at all. Nomad just got Castle Age. Jesus, he must have been under heavy, heavy pressure from someone. I don't know who, but... Definitely not fun times for uh, for our boy Nomad over here. Okay. So getting all the goodies here. We do see Blue doing his thing. Uh, the French are still... They have a decent little army from what I can see, but it doesn't seem to be anything too substantial. Okay. Oh, hello. Holy shit. Yeah, no, China. China doesn't... I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to be your enemy, China. I am... Uh, I am... I'm too weak. Please, please, Anakin, help me. And then we, I don't know if there's another entry up here, but we're just going to be safe. Holy shit, yeah. Oh, those bills are coming for it. Well, it's all good. We're in a position where we need to be a little bit more defensive, so. Can we get Dells back yet? Not quite. Okay, we should get it soon-ish. Okay, I don't know why these villagers garrisoned up, that's weird. Uh, French are building Red Palace on our borders, which makes me think I should build L's back. Eh, I'm, I'm tempted to do it here, but we need to uh, slap it up. Because even if we lose, then we can just become a... We can play some Eagles game. Mm-hmm. Yep. So now we can make armies. His army's actually not that good. As far as I can tell. If that's everything there, then I think we're okay. Alright, let's get the farms going of the gods. We're going to do this, and we need to start getting some siege equipment out. Could make ramps, but obviously Red Palace is a pain in the ass. Alright, so we have like this weird little hill spot, which is cool, man. I love situations like this. They're very fun. So we're going to grab you, go here, and take it up to the elves back to make sure we're all sauced out on relics. Uh, you, buddy, can just start mining here. It's fine. And now we got these two TCs also. Alright. So we're going to mine those up. We're going to reach Impage around the same time as our foes here. Let me secure all these. Our eco sucks, but it's going to be changing soon. French army is still mostly uh, castle, and if we just have enough spears, we should be able to fend them off here. Yeah, it's an arbalist army, so spears will be very good against them, actually. 
Alright, let's do that. And it looks like there actually is a little, like, something over here. Alright, so we need to wall that 100%. We can just start mixing in hand cannoneers, too. Okay, archer ranges. Looking good. French army's chilling. I'm more than happy to take it to late game here against French. With uh, my, my relic situation. Did L's back finish? It did. Alright, homie's got this one. And then he could just stay and give these guys the Jesus. And we do have those walls being set up there. Alright. Outstanding. Outstanding indeed. You guys can work on these hunting camps. Let's get the food upgrades. Aachen economy is popping. Looking pretty damn good. Red Palace is a pain in the ass for sure. Being attacked anywhere? No, just going after random towers. Okay. We might need something on the back. If there's like a bit of a split push here, could be annoying. Let's set that up. Okay, and hand cannoneers of doom. Head back to the wood. The knights are thinking about raiding. I can't really. Well, I could. I could defend this one. I could. I could definitely put a little bit of defensive effort into that bad boy. Okay, so we take down a couple knights for a tower, which I suppose is worth. And we are going to have some nice upgrades here soon. So first, next up, we need to get a uh, keep up. That's going to be probably next in our purview here. Get uni upgrades going. Um, this wall is about to finish, so let's get that. I will get Treb soon, but I, I want to get a keep set up first, if possible. Alright, let's grab you guys. Head over, see if we can get any of this sweet stone. Yeah, ram oh, they're actually coming with rams, wow. I think my army can hang with them, though. I do have, like, several Imperial units already. Those are just knights, mainly. Yeah, so I think we win this. If he's trying to lure me to the Red Palace, it's fine. And these guys are heading for the stone. We have enough knights to maybe chase. Okay. If he saw those stone villagers, I'm not sure exactly how that would... How that would be. Yeah, he's just like scouting out the base, I guess. Okay, so people reaching in page. No problem. We have Spears and uh, company going up here, so. Should be able to head them off. And yeah, we might lose a couple bills here, but I think he's going to lose a lot of his knights if he doesn't micro them. Yeah, those ones in the base are going to die. Forgot about them. Alright, cool. Get you guys down here. Take the villagers away. Pull back. Looks like his knights are fleeing the scene. Keep these spears here. Uh, let's get a cannon tower. Upgrade that to stone. Just be kind of annoying. And come and gather up here. Alright. Probably need some springs now. Although, that's right. We can get culves. As the HRE. Alright. So, wow. How did he find those guys? Damn. He, he's, he's finding all my nodes. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a keep like right, right, like here. I think that's going to be a good spot with which to make our stand. Um, and eventually, if we can just survive and get the tech, I think we we do well. But yeah, I just lost a bunch of bills over there, which sucks. Definitely sucks. But yeah, the high ground's looking good. Ventus is uh, is out of the game. We're gathering up a dread legion. And yeah, we just lose some random bills. Yeah, again, he's, he found our found our stuff again. Every time he's getting it. All right, so we need to just go ahead and get some good fights going. I don't know how the Red Palace looks. Let's see how this goes. Nice charge there. Spears get in, shank some of those guys down. We have a culve, so let's pull it around. You guys can go down to wood. We should have a good economy. Um, now we need just need to get some traps. Yeah, we're just gonna get some traps and just start trapping. Get a couple spears to protect this. Should be all good. Yep, a couple knights going down. No problems, no problems. And now we just need to get the imp upgrades. The uh, good old uni. And then we're good. Just get army tactics and we just move in and party. That's basically it. Okay. We got the culve. Um, I mean, our army should be bigger and stronger, I think, at this point. We have hand cannoneers. I mean, it seems pretty jacked. I'm going to continue getting these upgrades. And you guys can just go ahead and do this and set up this wall like so. 
Prevent that rating from going. We're basically just in a Mortal Kombat here, which if we get attacked by somebody else, we're just in huge danger. Okay, make some houses there. Get the max supply. Get another machine shop here. And we start sieging the Red Palace down. He's get, making rams and mangoes. Okay, so that's a good thing we have the culver. Alright, so we want the culver in. Shoot this and this. One down. And now the knights just get wrecked by the spears. He's doing a little bit of raiding into the base, so it should be okay. He's idle those guys up. And the dreaded Ramstein comes for round two. All right. Seems okay so far. Yeah, we folded up his army pretty good. Now we just have to deal with the rams, which are, of course, very strong. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's get on wood. Gather a ton of wood. And overall, a little bit of damage taken, but I have triple TC, so I can replenish any of that damage, like, super quickly here. Yeah, he just lost his whole army. All right. So now we can, we can potentially punish. Okay, so we got like a ram. I think he got like a couple. Oh, he might have gotten our market too, actually. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the army tactics when we can. We just need to restabilize our food situation. So back to the keep we go. Pull back, pull back. Snipe that thing if we can. Okay. We can go ahead and set up some farming situations up top. I think that's going to be good. I think we did get the artillery piece, which is outstanding. And uh, yeah, we're all good in the neighborhood. All right. Farms are a little offline for now, which sucks, but it is what it is. Ooh, walls coming up in the north. Hopefully not. Hopefully not with uh, super hostile intent. We're in a pitched 1v1 at the moment, so. Mm -hmm. And uh-huh. All right, so let's just kind of keep knocking things down. Hand cannoneers, make some mangoes of our own. Keep that culverin nearby. Did he just say dread spear? Okay. Okay, so we need to just pop these two in the face real quick. Just protect it, protect it. Okay. And we did get both mangoes down, so once again, we should be okay. He must have a good eco. He's hanging in there pretty well, economically speaking. Um, once again, those guys are poking into the base. Let's garrison you guys up. We need to get the good food going. All right, so Spears, get in there, do your thing. Mangoes, do it. Yeah, his army's getting mowed down. And we do have a Spring Ult coming out, so let's see if we can pop that thing. Cool. So, repairs, repairs. Oh, he's not going to snipe it? Okay, I'm down for that. All right. And 26 fills, let's get you guys on food, because we're sure as hell going to need it soon. And uh, the dreaded rams still poke into our base. Oh, really? Did those guys not go over there and finish them off? Oh, man. I thought they did. Okay. All right. Let's go up there, polish those guys off. Uh, maybe now we start getting our own siege pushing going. Let's do this. Yeah, the army once again has been stopped. And we got you. All right. We need to get you guys out of your TCs and stuff. I don't know where they're hiding right now. You guys go up. Get on the wood. A couple knights tr trundling about, but we do have spears ready to intercept them. Let's repair this. That culverin's been doing the work of the gods, like, straight up. It's been so good this game. I wonder if he's going to be able to keep this pressure up. Let's uh, start poking the Red Palace. Move our army up a little bit, and uh, you guys can get back on the wood. Oh, I don't have a market right now. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, actually. So we do have the mangoes. We have the culverin. Let's just make a lot of spears. Culverin's counter spring all super hard, obviously. Okay, let's get you down here. Popping his artillery. And that's been one of the big things that's been going very well for us is the uh, artillery trading. That's basically how we've been able to... Ooh, we actually lost one of our relics there, potentially. All right, let's go down here. Grab this relic and bring it back up here. Red Palace is getting repaired. We have some rams. I'm going to kind of hang hang on them for a minute. Um, gold, gold, we have a gold note up here. We do. Turin is finishing me. 
<laughs> I don't know, I would say you've been the aggressor. Uh, not true at all. He's been he's been aggroing in my base the whole time. All right, so we're bonking him on the head here. He might be running out of resources. He might be. I'm not sure. We do need to get a get a, a trade post up. Allied's killing Nomad too. Okay. No trade for us, but we do have good relics. You know, that's that's one thing that's going quite well. Um, we could just start focusing on bombards also. All right, let's see. Get a little optimize our prelate management. Get tithe barns too. And yeah, he's using resources. I think we can win another big fight here, though, if we have to. Do that. Make it a little bit harder. We have the Trebs of Doom. And uh, let's go ahead and get bombards. So the, the, today we did get the Ram nerf, actually, which is kind of interesting. I wonder how much that actually comes into play. What is our eco at? 98 right now? Okay. We definitely afford to get some more. Prior Chuck's going to drop this relic in this keep here, and then he is going to get up under the wood line. Looks like something's being attacked here. Uh, we should probably get basic archer upgrades. We can get banded beams, which has been nerfed, thankfully. Sell some food. And we need to get army tactics like stat. That's like one of the most important upgrades for HRE. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, he, he maybe didn't see this one. I'm not sure. Oh, looks like he's he's getting the the aggro here. Okay, so we can just sound the horn then and go go join in on the plundering. The problem is he invested so much in attacking us that um you know he ends up paying the troll toll a little bit. Yeah, we don't care about fighting the Chinese army. Tron is pretty far away from us. All right, so we're good here. Let's get those eco upgrades going. Keep moving across. Fall back to Menace Tirith, he says. Yeah, certainly true. Certainly true. He says, you want to kill him? Eh, you know, I'm good. Hanging out. We definitely need a little bit more uh, production infrastructure. And, uh-huh. All right. So ram down those walls. Our culve here. Oh, he's got some random... Is there like a random-ass spring over there or something? Oh, it's it's this one. Okay, check that out. He's got just a wild spring there. It's just trundling about. Ram spam still seems like it's going to be very good. So we're going to make some more of the ram spam and move in. It's always a good idea to go after French players, like always, because the fact that they just have such hard-ons for corner camping and having these like vast empires in the corner, we should definitely just try and take them out if we can. Okay, now he gets to play defensive. Doing a little horseman raiding here. Nice. Picking off the arty, good tactics, good stuff, well played. But we're uh, we're in it, we're in it to win it. We're gonna we're gonna try and get some uh, pressure on these bills here. All right, let's get into the food eco. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Looks like those guys are taken down. Have you guys start going after houses here? And a little bit of raiding in the base, but they're just gonna be taken down. What's going on with Tron? Oh, is he just massing horsemen out in front of my base? That's pretty funny. Okay. So we should probably get siege engineering, honestly. So we can, like, you know, actually put some pressure on people. Yeah, random ass, random ass horses attacking. Um, yeah, he's got, like, a million stables below our base. Seems pretty, pretty uh, keen on karate chopping me. Okay, let's move in. Does he have any relics? No relics. We did take down the TC. He's gonna go landmark hunting. Since I know the Red Palace is offline, so... Um, oh, do we need to wall this? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to start on that. Spearmen. A couple of you guys need to stay in the base to defend against horseman raids. Take some of these down. So he's got one landmark hiding somewhere. It's probably his guild hall. You know, probably the guild hall, I would wager. Okay. What am I? What am I missing here? Yeah, no, I, I, the, the French, the French have to go, and he's, a, he's clearly a good player too. So I need to take advantage of this opportunity. I saw that Tron, uh, Tron was saying something. I mean, what did I miss? Yeah, let's say, turn you want to kill him? You kill him, or otherwise I'll attack you. Yeah, it's fine. I think Tron knows I'm attacking him. Plus, I, I don't like negotiating with people under duress. Like if somebody threatens me, it's, it's usually, you know. 
it doesn't work. Yeah. I'd rather I'd rather go down swinging than than yield to some threats. So. Plus, you again, you can't have a French corner player playing because if you do, they're just gonna they're just gonna wonder cheese and win. Hey, patch is good so far. We had heavy feudal pressure, which I did not expect from this French player. He was very good. He played very well. He had this great map sense. He was finding all my shit. And um, and yeah, now we're just trying to trying to survive here. Probably take some of these down. We're trying to bank some resources. Middle of the map, probably mostly taken here. Oh, okay. He's trying to wall something off here, so let's run in there. Oh, it's his guild hall. Okay. No, no, no. All right, that's his last landmark. Okay, so we just need to go over there and kill that, and we're we're golden. Rams, keep going. <laughs> oh my God. He tried to seal us out. Close. All right, so now we just take that down, and I think we're okay. I don't think he's going to be able to repair anything else. He's riding into my base, just trolling. That's why I left these spears here, by the way. He's really been after me this game, hadn't he? He's really been going hard in the paint. That's why we left these guys, though. All right, so he's down. So, very sweaty stuff, very sweaty. All right, let's head up to the base now. Let's do this, emergency repairs. All of you guys back to the farms. Back to the farms you go. Now we need to establish some sort of trade. Um, Nomad's alive, I'm alive, allied, and Tron. So now there's four people. Hmm. No, French are just uh, very powerful in FFA, though. That's it's Their ability to go... And I'm not talking 1v1. Like, yeah, sure, in 1v1 they're good. But their ability to... Um, yeah, we see a big Chinese army here. China's going to become a big enemy soon, I would wager. Okay, so we're gonna use these guys, this keep to like slowly start clearing these guys out. Hopefully that will do the trick. Let's gather everyone up front. I think I destroyed his market, so there's not gonna be any trade there. I destroyed it in the heat of the moment because I wanted to get rid of his ability to trade resources, so. Definitely not a bad wonder spot, like right over here, if I wanted to, but that's gonna be hard. China's still very strong, I think. Um, how's it going? How's it going? Whoa, low, low is horsemen. I know. I'm tempted to, actually. Let's see if I have any prelates nearby that could. We'll just whoa, low, low him to get rid of him. Alright, we got hand cannoneers and spear based comp, which is pretty good. Let's get all the important upgrades. We're gonna whoa, low, low these bad boys. Well, are they even elite horsemen? They are. Okay. My army's maxed out right now, so what it's going to do is just kill them. It'll get rid of them, so. The power of Jesus, dude. Too strong. All right, let's go see what it looks like in the middle. Who are y'all fighting? Hmm. Dude, the French were, went ham on me this game. I, I have not had such feudal pressure against me in a long time in a FFA game. Nomad says, please, no. I wonder what he's talking about here. Oh, he's dead! Oh, shit! Okay, this can be a little bit scary. Um, I don't know where the trade posts are. I need to I need to get to discovering those. Okay. You guys, come down here and just uh, take what's left of these scraps. Not a whole lot. China's probably, like, cross-map trading, honestly. It's a nice little base here the French had. Oh, here's China's base. Holy shit. Okay. We could be drawing ourselves into Mortal Kombat with China, which is going to be very scary. I do want to clear out their... I can't just let them have their way with everything, right? Yeah, so we got we to gotta press up. Okay. So Rams are clearing out the Chinese presence in the middle. I could regret this. Um, let's do this. Do this. We have to remember there's a Chinese player here, which means Fire Lancers are a possibility. You know. Horsemen, archers, and we can make spears, men at arms. Knocking down some of the Chinese uh, terrain. I can't just let them sit on the sacred sites, right? 
Okay, is there any more farms that need to be worked? Not really. Okay, let's pull back. That's good enough for me. So walling off yield empire. Okay, is there any other gold or resources around? It looks like there is some gold down here I could perhaps take. This damn thing is like so troll. Yeah, making it so like literally only one guy can reach. Make some archers. We got a lot of wood action going here. Prelates are motivating. We have the haggard farms up in the highlands. He must be fighting someone else, which to me means I should probably be aggressive considering he's China and China's stronger than HRE late game. So I should capitalize on the uh, on the situation here. Oh man, that's some bombards, some chonky bombards. I don't know. So they're going to take that, and you guys can take this. And uh, again, I don't think he's got any trade down here. Yeah, we, we kind of screwed the pooch on that. Should have left it, but I didn't want him trading resources and filtering his economy. Um, who the hell killed Tron? Not Tron, but the top side player is my question. Yeah, we need to figure that out. So let's go start laying some towers around the map. Kind of get some intel, if possible. China's got its army over there. Oh, Daniel, you, you played very well, man. You had really good game sense. You kept finding all my shit, my little miners and stuff. I was like, damn. It's giving me giving me some trubs. All right. So we found a gold node. It's not much. It's just really scraps. Then we probably need you guys to come out to the middle. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing down here that I can trade with, I don't think. Nope. Okay, so it begins. The greatest war of our time. So we're going to need Culves. And uh, yeah, I guess we're doing battle with China. Okay, so we got Culverins coming out. Unfortunately, there's... Yeah, here's the Chinese base. Okay, so we can do this. Let's just do a little bit of the dreaded, you know, you know what. It's still pretty good, it seems. My potato archers are just like, help me, I'm too weak. Man, not having gold here is going to suck. I mean, we have the HRE gold, but that's basically it. Okay. Let's gather up our troopers, do this. Okay, cool. If China, like, puts all of its effort towards attacking us, they could probably, probably do it. But I don't know what else he's got going on. We need to get stables up stat. Okay. First I'm going to be, uh, oh, no worries, man. No worries. I'm sure you did great. Okay, we found a gold node, which is cool. Who's still in the game? We got allied Trex, which I have no idea. He's probably attacking the Chinese. I would be my guess. I haven't discovered any trading posts yet. Okay. Oh, we just discovered some goodies up there. Let's see if we could hunt down these, these bombards. That would be great. 34 idle vills. Sure, why not? Let's go up here and grab this. Yeah, we're not going to get his cannons. He's going to get those back. All right, let's just send you guys up to go knock these down. All right. How are we looking here? What's our eco at? Wow, we're 143 eco. Jesus. Talk about overkill, huh? No wonder army's so damn small. All right. Uh, do we want to try messing around with some land snakes today? That could be fun. Okay, so we've walled this. Um, we had that. These vills are on the journey. Let's go get that. I think he's getting attacked by Allied. It's 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 the only it's the only reason like reasonable thing I can suspect. So we're gonna get the Du Host going. We're playing the true Du Host faction. Oh, I'm definitely not the goat, but thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. You played great, man. I was like, yeah, man, you were, you were, you were raiding me. The dreaded feudal pressure. Okay. There's one good thing about getting all this wood is that we, uh, we are of course going to, um, we're gonna have lots of push. 
I wish we had more gold. Sone is actually looking decent, but yeah, now we can start supply blocking China. Which is going to be very annoying for them. Continue moving through here. Get a little cannon tower there. Tron, Tron did threaten me earlier, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Let's get a cannon tower here so we can't like easily just deal with that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. All right. So we're, we're taking this last gold. Let's move to the north because that position is going to be lost really quick here. Oh, where did my culverins go? Man, I was totally spaced out and wasn't watching. Okay. Holy shit, that is a hell of a lot of bombard cannons. All right, let's just start massing horsemen and... Uh, and culves. Oh, we still have a culver in here. Okay, great. I was like, oh, hopefully we have something. Not for long, dudes. Not for long. Okay, the Rams are going to continue their crusade into his base. This is this is the way to do it. The the two host Ramstein from the side. Okay, let's get you guys going. We got gold being taken from the map. The two host will be our victory. I mean, yeah, it's really good. It did get nerfed today, by the way. Their damage got nerfed by about 20%, so... It's, uh, it's pretty big. Pretty big change. Alright, so we need to find some bills who are not doing a whole lot. Looks like you guys. And we need to do this. And uh, do this. Kind of secure the lands a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if China's going to come for me. Let's go see. Let's move down and go fight. Uh, what's that? Yeah, still getting the gold. Outstanding. We have allied treks running around like a rat here. <laughs> Random villagers. Um, don't know where they're coming from. But China's base is definitely not having fun with the Ramstein. Because the really strong thing about it is, is, is it idols workers too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just the horseman army on top of the mass bombards. That's so erect. Oh. Sign me up. Do you know how much value we just tanked in the Chinese base there? A shit ton, dude. All right. So let's head over here. Do this. He's losing villages and landmarks. This is rams are just so obnoxious, dude. And plus, we just dominated the army in the middle. You had a sick corner spot? Yeah, yeah. I bet you did, my friend. I bet you did. Okay, we need to shut allied. Oh, he's playing Mongols. He's probably just being a goblin and running around. China's definitely not having fun with this. But we need to keep allied in check, too. Okay, let's get a couple of you guys. Turn in here, turn in, and then come to the middle. And set up some towers. Towers, towers, towers. Oh, allies raiding him. Okay, interesting. So, good thing we walled this portion off. That's going to prevent Mongol raids. I don't know if that's a, like a pass there, but let's just be safe. And then we can do this. And uh, go like that. Yeah, all right. And all right. Cool. I think that'll that'll handle that. So he's getting raided by Allied right now, which is great. So we're just basically sharing in the love. Alright, uh, so we're getting a lot of gold on the map. Looks like there may have been a stone node up there still. Up here? Yeah, where would this go? Probably like right there would be the spot. The Dew Hostening continues. He looks like he's defending now. So we just need to keep taking ground in the middle in the meantime. 34 villagers. Is there any other resources we want? Um, we can have them come back and start hitting the wood back here, I guess. Cool. We got a lot going on. The old rams are just still going to keep amassing on the shores. Keeping China, China at bay one, one game at a time here. Tithe Barnes is giving us good resources. That's something that's keeping us in this game for sure. Uh, we probably need a little bit more food eco. I know I had a bunch of bills running back to the base right now. Yeah. Can we go here, 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 and then here? Yeah, must have been Allied who maybe went after Nomad. Oh my god, I have way too many culps now. Shit. That army comp is funky as hell. And yep. Should have gotten Broadaxe a long time ago. That would have been nice. China's Great Wall. Still doing it. Rams. The Rams are still just occupying him. We should probably rally them back here. Okay, let's get these culves back to the base. They're super valuable. We want to keep those things alive. And it looks like China's been mostly pushed out of the middle. For now. 
And I know those villagers, yeah, they've just now made it, okay. So we're walled off here. Um, there's actually a lot of resources over there. If we can go get our clutches on those, on that stone, that'd be sweet. I'm going to go like explore this side of the map, see what we can find. Alright. It was, uh, it was, he attacked me completely unwarranted. Yeah, well, didn't you guys just play a best of series versus one another? Sounds like there was a little bit of bad blood there, so, you know. That's usually how that would go down. Okay, let's have you guys go work on the farms up here. I don't know why they weren't able to build that. That was weird. Oh, Allied's like running around like a gremlin. Okay, he's got a bunch of like semi-destroyed landmarks. All right. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of explore the map with our big horseman core and see what we can find. Cannon Tower's doing it. Okay, looking good. You guys are gathering this. It's 2400, which is fat. It's very erect. And these bad boys seem to be at the ready, too. Okay, let's go down here. Don't need the spears running with this army, kind of slowing them down. This guy can go in an early retirement. All right. So how are we looking here? Oh, here's Allied. Holy shit. Oh my god, he's got a rat's nest of towers. Let's see how far I can get. Middle's been cleared out, which is outstanding. Get a couple of you guys to uh, entrench this position here. Okay, Allied is trying to utilize the new Mongol tricks. Uh, I'm trying to see like where he's maybe got a rat's nest going here. Alright, if he wants to get horses, we can go do this and troll around there. He must have a little something something going here. Alright, so we'll just go through those for now. We're going to enforce these. Okay, gold's a little bit tight. There's not too much gold on the map, but we do have some bills on it. Allied's towers are not fully upgraded right now. Okay. Dude, look at these rams, dude. They're so troll. Uh-huh. And then these ones can go here, here, and then start just going after random buildings. Okay, let's sell you guys. The Rams of Doom occupying a lot of my opponent's attention from what I can tell. This could be a big vulnerability here, so we gotta wall that up. Don't know where I'm gonna get attacked from, but it's gonna be somewhere around here, I'm sure. Okay, you guys set up here. Let's have some fun. Yeah, Allied is clearly going for a wonder victory, right? It's, it's pretty obvious. He's got he's got his legion in the back. Okay. Let's go over here. Do this. You guys would maybe go explore a little bit here. I'm not sure. Okay, come back over here. All right. So somebody destroyed Tron's landmark. Probably my battering rams. Allied here is facing the last of my residual forces. And uh, cool. All right, let's let, let's stop the base on this. I don't know if it's enough bills. Hopefully nobody races me, like China, for example. But I think they're too busy. So we have a, a nice defensible little spot here, I think. Oh, look at that. There's actually like plenty of little angles here with which to cross. All right. So let's start making armies. Uh, we have the four culves here ready to defend. We're going to get the wonder up in time. I'm not making the mistake of being conservative like I always am in this damn game. I'm always like, just like, oh, I should wait till they're completely dead before I like do the wonder, right? And it just loses me all the games all the time, dude. All right. So let's get you guys back here. Let's get you guys back here. And we got the wonder. We have the sacred site. Um, so we can just get another tower there. Maybe they're going to go for it. Maybe they're not. Who knows? And you guys can just uh, go work on these berry bushes and just kind of clear space out for now. Probably need more wood, to be honest. So we'll get them on wood. 
handful of them. So I got like these like random towers all over the place. I'm hoping that will give me some good, you know, awareness of when they're coming at me. So we need to go like set up towers in this forbidden land here to see when the back door is coming so I can react to it. It's a pretty good little spot. It's not like perfect. Like you could definitely come here. Allied looks like he's coming with a big legion. So we can go intercept him first. China's going to be coming from this way. So. All right. So we got horsemen. Um, I'm pretty heavy duty on workers. So we probably actually just honestly cut most of these. Yeah, that's better. And then let's go intercept the Chinese army. It's going to be running into my cannon towers here. So we'll go fight them, and then whatever's left here can go after Allied. Yeah, he's, he's creeping across here. I'm pretty sure I'm walled with the appropriate emplacements all over the place. And we just need to make our hold up in the hills when the time does come. Okay, let's get you guys to do this. And you can go ahead and start here. And then you can do this. All right. Not a bad little fight. We obviously took some damage. Some damage, as the French would say. And uh, Allied's going to be creeping over with a bunch of horsemen looking for ways in. Um, hopefully we will be secure here. I don't think there's any way off that cliff. Yeah, it's just like over here. All right. So here they come. We have 13 minutes left. So we just need to hold this like middle point long enough that they can't win on Sacred. I don't... I don't think anybody's going to go sacred, honestly. I really don't. Okay, so the villagers are slaying those berry bushes up there. Let's go ahead and uh, get these walls up here. And then they can just come back up here and work the farms. China's getting its siege workshop. Allied's taking a little bit of a longer route here. Looks like he's trying to do the big flank. Um, the only way through would be like right here. So we need to just send some troopers out there and and do that. Alright, so let's do this. Fight the armies. The rams the rams will come soon. The the, the doom of the rams will be uh, be here shortly. And we got you guys. Let's get you up. Allied trying to set up siege workshops. So let's uh, do this. Alright, great. So then we have another force here. Let's take them up. Go up here and uh, head these bad boys off. Mm -hmm. I think the Chinese army has been slowly dispatched for now, or at least slowed down. Okay, 27 of you guys. Let's get you on the old wood. And the remnants of the old empire. Yeah, we're, we're actually really need wood, like bad. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real problem here. Yeah, tower there's hanging in there like a champ. All right, so let's get you back. Let's get you back. Do this. Um, where's our eco at? So we have a lot of workers here. Let's get you guys. Um, come over here and start on the wood. And then you two can also make villagers to start working there. Okay. We gotta remedy that problem. A lot of bombards coming in, but I think the culverins hopefully will be able to stop them. Allied's got a big army of Kashyyyks here. So let's uh, gather you guys and do this. Spears, dudes, and dudes for the dude throne. Our wood is mostly offline right now, which is not good. Oh, these workers weren't lumberjacking. Oh, they must have gotten obstructed by some sort of a wall. All right, so he's coming with a lot of cav. He's going to run into the wall situation here, but he'll have his siege shortly. I don't know if we can actually fight this army of... of, uh, of you know, let's get these culves down here. Yeah, they're... Okay, they're in position. Good. One, uh, two, and in three... Okay, Allied's still trying to break through. He's the Mongolian uh, push here. Two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. Let's see how that goes for the Culves. Should be able to head him off here. All right, Culverins are a little bit behind the party, which sucks, but hopefully they'll get in position soon. Allied's gonna try and play through here, so let's get these guys. We're gonna have to fight on a couple of fronts. I can't afford to go all in, unfortunately, because I need, um, you know, I need, I need this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And I'm pretty sure there was another culvern up there as well. All right, if we can dispatch this Chinese push, that's going to be pretty big. All right, let me do this and uh, do that. Looks like most of the culverns are down, but we did like literally clear like 10 bombards, so. All right, so sell some food. We have the culvern back by the keep here. Our spear army moved out, but he's got a lot of Kashyyyks. Okay. Yeah, fighting on both fronts certainly not easy. 
People like Smeagol make it look easy, right? But it is certainly not. Okay, so let's make some Kulvs. I think up on the high ground, we're probably going to want to make some Siege Workshops. Hold for Sigmar. Yeah, we're trying, dude. It ain't easy, that's for damn sure. All right, how's Allied's push looking here? He's going to have Rams here shortly, I would wager. Then we're going to have some... Oh, is that... Can you actually get through here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, so he's packing his, his traction trebuchets here. So we need to get up there and uh, do that. He's not going to be able to reach me, though, I don't think. I don't think there's any way through there, to be honest. Yeah, see, he's just bombarding on the edge, but I don't think he can actually get through. Okay, so let's get you guys and you guys and gather up, and then we can send the rest of you guys up here. Can he actually get through there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think he can. This is bad. Fall back to the keep. Defend. Yeah, he might be able to squeeze through there. I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like it's the case. Okay, so this is going to be probably an, a fat L right here. Because we just have no army. I didn't think he could get through there, but apparently he can. So we need to just delete these walls. Um, enemies going after the wonder. We have emergency repairs on it with the L's back. And let's get the horsemen over to go snipe the trebs. I did not think he could get through there. That was a that was a big, big blunder there. We might still hold. It's going to be tight. I do have repairs and the emergency repairs going down. Okay, we also got his artillery down. Okay, I think we're going to hold here, guys, just barely. The main base is getting pushed pretty hard. We pretty much have to yield that shit. That's not going to fly. Okay, so Allied's little push is offline for now. He's losing his Kashyyyks. And we learned something new today, that apparently that is a hole in our base. Apparently that is. Okay, so we need to just, like, rally the troopers up to the top. Straight up. Okay, so those guys are down. We'll, we'll get the culverins up on the high ground. Let's go see if we can do some artillery sniping right now. This map is weird. I did not think he would be able to get through there, but he was. All right. Pull you guys down. Oh, that Chinese army is so fat, dude. All right, so let's leave the culves. Take you guys. We need to rewall that. And then go after all these. All right. Yeah, if we get all his traction traps here, it's going to be hard for him to replace those. Uh-huh. And then let's seal this breach here. Set you up. And then we get you. God damn. I, sometimes wall building is like the most annoying shit in this game straight up. All right. So we're going to try and get an artillery snipe. I think allied should be like pushed back for now. Okay. And we cut you here and then do this. Maybe if we can steamroll this army here, maybe we'll be okay. If we can stop like one big push, I'll feel pretty confident. All right, let's uh, attack with the main army. All right, so the main army is coming from the north. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's get all of you guys. And then we come down and hut those off. And it looks like we're gonna be secure here for now. Um, all right, so we need to make like probably mangoes here. Be the way. One, two. Okay, Chinese bombards. They just need to go in the can. If we can run down the Chinese bombards, then we're uh, we're chilling. All right. So let's uh, set up a little gatehouse here so we can actually defend. Allied's gonna be back with another push from that side soon. Uh, let's see if there's a way through. Let's go check. There might be. Yeah, looks like there probably is. So yep. Do that, and then we can hopefully be safe from here. Okay, so we killed all but two bombards. So now we need to just get up there and, and party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a big ass force right there. That's for damn sure. Okay. There's gonna be some trebs coming. Our food, our food's gonna get cut off here very shortly. We're losing landmarks. I mean, I could just get my last landmark night too. Yeah, so let's get the boys up there if we can. Mangoes are at the ready. We have this. We got the culves. Don't know what kind of shots they're going to be able to rip, but there's going to be fat pressure coming in soon. We need to hide these bills over here. In case one of my landmarks goes down, we need something to emergency repair. All right, so mangoes. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some food. We get mangonels coming in to party. There is a bit of an entrance there, which is a little bit frightening. Thunderbolts and lightning. Uh-oh, we need to get you guys, like, stat stat. Okay, let's go. See what we can do. All right, China's coming in. 
We're gonna ninja, try and ninja repair this landmark when the time comes. Let's go see if we can get any of Allied's goodies here. Like his siege. Might just be mass cav. Okay. Friar Tux, get up to the top. We need all hands on deck. I can literally just make horsemen. That's it. That's pretty funny. All the relics are being taken. We're gonna keep you guys here. For when the trebuchets arrive. Maybe we can snipe those. Um, the main base is looking a little bit dicey. I have no way of... Oh, there's still a breach there. See, this is good. This is this is good that I'm seeing these, these little holes here and there. Alright. If we can snipe them from the high ground, that's gonna be metal as hell. Alright, so that's a good one. Villagers are here. Now this side is in danger. So we're gonna have to take like our standing army here and move over this way. Alright, so I think we got one. So let's go here and then here. See what we can do. Both sides coming in. I don't think I'm gonna hold. Three minutes is a long ass time, guys. It's a long, long time. Alright, let's get you guys to go head off the artillery. Head off the artillery. That's trying to come in. Manganels need to be at the ready. And the Culves up in the high ground can hopefully get that value we're looking for. Oh man, I don't know why they don't have line of sight. They should be able to shoot that. Hmm. Okay, you guys head over here. China's on one side and, you know, the other players here as well. Alright, so let's get all these bills. Right now, just go do emergency repairs on uh, this landmark. Okay, let's fight here. We need these Culves to actually be able to hit their targets. We're going to park him here. And these bills are going to come down and just torch, 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 torch. Emergency repairs of the repair gods. China on the other side looking very dicey. And I think we're going to get the emergency repair up on that, hopefully. Ah, yeah, I don't think we quite get it. We're being pinned on two sides a little bit too hard here. And I think it's going to go down. Yeah, I think they got us, guys. We're toast. Who else has a wanderer? Does anybody else? I wonder. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to try and survive. The odds aren't great, but, you know, we, we are, we're going to try and survive. GG. All right, so this is almost repaired. Still taking some sweet time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it was so close. We almost had it. They were both pretty powerful, honestly. Did we get the repair off? Oh, it's so close. Oh, L's back. Hold for Sigmar. GG. We tried, guys. We tried. Heartbreaking. We weren't that close. Honestly, we weren't that close. We we had like maybe a minute left, a minute and a half, right? Oh, yeah, we should have left these forests alone. That would have basically just denied Allied that entire angle of attack. That was foolish, but it's it's easy to see in 2020. Um, so China is pretty powerful. And holy shit. Oh, man, somebody's letting Allied trade over here. Oh, my God. Look at him just cackling. They probably had like a temporary alliance or something, I would guess. All right, guys, GG well played. Let's get another one going. That was a fun match. Close to the save. We were very close. Yeah, we were very close, but we needed better defenses. I wish those culverins could have hit those damn cannons from the high ground. That would have maybe turned it around. All right, let's fire it up. Round two, let's go. Let's get it. Could have maybe gone more in a corner too, like built in the top right corner instead of that mountain pass. The mountain pass was actually more vulnerable than I thought. It had like a lot of, um, a lot of places there that were potentially getting uh, taken down. All right, so we got another game. Anybody's welcome to join who did not play in the previous one. We got Sai, Whisper, Aniori, Nanu, and one more spot left, and Phil. All right. So mega random. Let's get it, dude. Two minutes and 33, that's a long time. I would have had to repel that entire attack, and maybe with better horse and micro, but China was defending their cannons really well. He was doing an excellent job. Make sure to use the new biome. Is there a new biome? Okay, let me go look. Uh... Oh, the Halloween biome. That's cool. Who do we play here? I don't know why we would need Observer, but... Yeah, five minute delay is fine. Cool. Very close. It, it, it did It did feel like a long time. Um, do we have any other Mongols in the game? I'm actually terrible with Mongols. I don't really know how to play them, but it would be fun to try out their new goodness. Let's try a little bit of Mongolian action. I don't play them often, but it should be fun. All right, I gotta let my chihuahua outside. It's it's growling about something. Probably needs to use the restroom. I'll be right back. It's, somebody dipped out of their other room.
No, she's just being a goblin. All right, guys. Yeah, the lobbies are weird. Sometimes they show, sometimes they don't. Um, play French, join the dark side. That's probably the easiest way to get wins in FFA is playing French, honestly. But I think Mongols with their new changes, the towers can be good. GG to whoever was in the game since Dark Age Rush. Yeah, yeah. Farewell. Farewell. Well, China was gnarly, man. They were rich. He had like 12 bombard cannons. It was hard to stop. It was hard to stop. All right, here we go, baby. Myself on Mongols, Sai on English, Roos, gonna be Whisper. Uh, I have no idea, just about a keyboard mash over here on Chinese. Dark Age Rush, Nanny Ori, Nanu, and Pog. That is gonna be it. <laughs> Any dog under 50 pounds is a cat. <laughs> yeah, Ron Swanson, yeah. Dude, Chihuahuas are just the unholy scourges of dog breeds, dude. Our Chihuahua is just, just pure villainy. Just always trolling, dude. Oh, God, it wakes us up at like 5 a.m. Even though it doesn't need anything sometimes, it'll just like wake us up and stare at us and then go back to bed. We're like, why? Like, why did this need to happen? <laughs> yeah. We need to trade that game too. We, we were kind of gold starved at the end. Like after I built my wonder, I didn't have gold. I couldn't really build a lot of good units. That definitely got us steamrolled. OG, nice defense turn. Who are you the most pumped for in the upcoming expansion? Ooh, man. Like Japan and the Byzantines are both really exciting. It's funny because I studied Japanese for four years. But, and I also just finished reading a book on the Crusades. Um, so there's like a little bit of, you know, Byzantine, uh, Byzantine stuff there, as you know. So yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're getting there. All right, so town center, uh, let's go here, I guess. And you guys can come down here, we'll do this, and we can do that. Go set that up by the golds. Yeah, it's always so weird to me that you need to set up like that. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing with Mongols, guys. Like, absolutely no idea. I'm just going to be doing random shit, to be completely fair. All right, so let's get the Ovo set up. We can set that up up here. I'm going to just do the weirdest builds I can think of. Okay. This biome is cool. This, like, haunted Halloween biome. Yeah, this is rad. Oh, that's right. I don't have to build houses with Mongols. Oh. And I'm terrible at building walls anyway, so this is this is maybe maybe this is the Civ I should have played all along with the Mongols, right? We have a Mongolian player setting up here, so it's gonna be Phil. Japan is anime, which turns he I hate anime, dude. <laughs> Pwn, you're such a villain, bro. You know? Did I send two workers to do that? Okay, we got we have to fish here. No choices. Yeah, doesn't this does feel like Warcraft 3, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Alright, so we need to get four on food, and then, yeah, we clearly have to fish or else we're going to fall massively behind. Man, I miss Warcraft 3. we got to go back and do a stream. Imagine if Blizzard wasn't just a shit house company and they made, like, a, a good remake of Warcraft. How hyped that would be. Oh. Son of a gun. Oh, is this a Roost player? Whisper? Yeah, he is. he's having he's having a little bit of fun at my expense here. The con denied. The sweaty plays, dude. And I have an OP hero unit. Oh yeah, dude. It's time. Let the hero hammer feast. Alright, so we're gonna set that up. We're gonna go scout and see what's going here. Yeah, maybe we'll do another Warcraft 3 stream. Maybe tomorrow. That could be fun. Would you guys wanna you guys wanna do a little Warcraft 3 the Frozen Throne? I think I'm down for that. Okay, let's just set this up here for now. Oh hello, okay. Maybe that's where we should be going. That is much safer. Jeez Louise. Is it, can I actually get by that? Is there any issues there? No. Okay, so checking the coast. It looks like there is a coastline to ride up. It will be fun to play Mongols and like know I can escape the wrath, right? Like at any point I can just, if I just get owned by somebody who's like just karate chopping me, I can just flee the scene, which is cool. Oh, we can move this back up here actually. One more on wood. And the Mongolian docks are underway. All right. Yeah, Warcraft 3 is fun. I'm pretty bad at it. I mean, not bad. I'm like mediocre, but it's still fun to play. Can use the maneuver arrow. Get that sweet speed buff, dude. OP. We got the big cheat codes going. Hey, Dead Air, thank you for the donation. Just played my third multiplayer match. Awesome community. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. The sacred sites have pumpkins. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's really cool. Damn, these docks feel like they're taking forever. All right, so that's going to get us going. We'll start getting a little bit of gold. Uh, I would imagine the other Mongol player is going to probably go for some sort of play here. 
You know, I'm gonna start practicing Mongols. They, they're such a cool sieve in this game. They're so rad. Right, Mongol master. Uh, he's not going water. Could be looking to raid. No, he's going water. Okay, I was gonna say it would be a, it would be a pretty big fool of a took situation if he didn't. Dude, look at this. He's poking me here, dude. How dare he? Look at this. This blatant hostility we're experiencing. My my con's gonna come beat up your con, dude. You just wait. Okay, do I want to get any Uvu upgrades, like Forestry, for example? Probably not. I'm tempted to build an early um, Horseman and take out his Uvu, which would be pretty funny. But it would set me back pretty far. Granted, I would get the Bounty Bonus, which could be worth. I feel like just getting the Food Boats is probably better at this point, so... Alright. So this Villager is in trouble. Death by a Thousand Spoon Blows, for sure, is going to be the name of the game. And if he brings that con a little bit closer, I'll for sure uh, pop him in the face. He wanted it. He was thinking about it. All right, so boats are on the way. We're cackling pretty well. I know, this is some crazy aggression here, dude. I'm getting player hated on tonight. People are giving me the business, dude. All right, so it's a faster pack building. It's the con duel, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, so food is picking up. We almost have enough to age up here. So everyone who's aging up, it usually means they don't have water. Yeah. Dude, look at the con duel. My guy's ahead by like one HP. Which is hilarious. Um, we're gonna slow our roll on the boats for a second. I'm gonna pull you up here. Oh yeah, dude. Look at the big con plays. Oh, you better better not come too close to my TC here. I'm gonna get your con, dude. We're gonna get him. Okay, let's make a couple more boats. Keep chasing you. Pull down here. And now we're ready to age up. All right, so let's grab a couple of you guys, do this, and we can go ahead and get the silver tree, because probably you're gonna want to trade at some point. We got the boats of doom coming out. Hey, thank you for the donation, TNT. Goddamn, Templar Knight. Thank you as well for being a member for 18 months. And John, let the weird, yeah, I'm gonna let the warrior spirit flow through me and probably will lead me to an early grave. So that's the game plan so far. All right, so we're going to set that up. Is this real life? Am I actually legitimately being raided right now? Like, tower rushed? This is weird. Tonight we're getting the weirdest early, like, aggro plays against us. It's so strange. Okay, so we're going to set you up. Keep this going. Uh, we obviously will want to get some forestry. Some very crunk play, for sure. Yeah, we're getting, like, aggroed on super early tonight. It's got spears coming. So he's already r rushing me. Uh, ironically, though, I'm already going to be in the second age, so the spear rush is going to be kind of insignificant, but the Khan can fend off spears on his own, too. All right, so we need to hit the next age. We're going to go ahead and double produce here. And uh, we can do this with some of you. Pulling back. You guys come here. Get some more boats. They can jump on that, although wood is probably going to be more important. And uh, we just keep doing this. Thankfully, I've played many many a 1v1 game against this type of stuff, so I'm kind of used to it, although from a Mongol perspective, I don't really know. Our Khan is now hard. He's not soft anymore, so he's he's got the full chub. And we just take down this character, and I don't think he's going to be able to do too much against us. We'll see. All right. So the gold workers are going to pull back for now. And uh, we're just going to do this. Keep making the boats. Could get piracy, but don't think we need to. Let's get you, and we can go ahead and make some Lancers. Got a handful of spearmen, but let's go kill that Khan if we can. All right, so the Khan is going to do this. So let's go after you and have the Khan start poking these guys. Outstanding. Let's do that. Why this? All right, you guys run back to the base. Get a little bit more action there. And now we can double produce some Mangudai, which are going to basically just shut the shit down. All right. So still just poking and harassing. We're going to take all the Lancers and go down here and just start torching that OVO. Get some sweet bounty. And in the meantime, we'll just have some fun. This is so weird. This is so weird, this aggression. Hey, T-Rex push-ups and Saint. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that support, dudes. You guys are far too generous tonight. All right, let's get you guys back on the gold. Keep chasing. I don't want to let any of these spears live if I don't have to. Keep making the boats. You guys are going to go torch that down. 
and uh, we will we will drag them through the old Mongolian mud here. We would have been Castle Age by now, if not for this dreaded raid. But it is what it is. The Mangudai are definitely trolling away, having a good jolly time. Let's go set that up here. And we do have the poke going. He's got some Kashyyyks of his own now. So we just need to fight our way to Castle Age, basically, and then we're, we're, we're golden. All right. All right, boys, let's pull back. All's calm on the Mongol front now. T-Rex, thank you, man, for the 50. God damn, dude, you guys are too generous. All right, so we're going to tower up here. We're going to try and get Castle. And, um, and yeah, basically, that's going to be the jam, so... Okay. Mangudai, uh, do they lose the archers? I mean, archers will do very well against Mangudai, yes. But, I mean, uh, you can still do fine. And I wanted to have two TCs, and my dreams of, of all that are just gone. We haven't been able to even trade. We've been trolled so hard here. All right, let's go scout the map with this guy. Just ride him around in the center, see what we can find. I don't even know where the um, relics are and things like that, right? Coral is good, but I think I'm too much of an idiot to use it. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to skip out on the Kural Tai for now. We're closing in on the next age. All right, a little bit of raiding in the north. No, not raiding, just being scoped out. Okay, so we see that. Hey, thank you guys so much for all your support. Really appreciate it. Mangadar are just so cool, though. I feel like like rule of cool teams that you have to have to make them. Okay, it's a little bit of food. We have a lot of fishing, so we're going to be okay there. Okay, let's take you down. Obviously, the other Mongol player should be a little bit behind us because of the uh, the timing. Set that up too. And then we want to get the arrow defense for diving. Grab you guys, turn in, and then we can do the step readout, which we'll set up right here. Although they can just stay here and then you guys can build it. We'll get some Kashyyyks and uh, just get the nice upgrades going. And then we just kind of get crossbows from here. Crossbow, like, Lancer is a classic army comp castle age for, for the Mongols. At least it was back in the, my, my olden days. Not having to build houses. Dude, I know. Now nobody can supply block me. My, my power fantasy cometh true. Let's go ride down here, see what his army looks like. Okay, let's grab this. I can go over here, in the middle. Okay, and then you can get that. Got a nice little army. Gonna kind of pull back here. And now we are in the next age, so we just need a little bit of gold, and then we should be good to rumble. Unfortunately, I don't know where any relics are, so we're gonna be very trade dependent in this game. I mean, we have plenty of gold right now, so it's not a problem, but, you know, in time it will be. All right, cool. Our food economy is pretty sauced, obviously. We're gonna make some junks in the trunk. And we can get the piracy upgrade, which will give us a bit of money. Hey, Scout! Love you, Turn. Thanks for all the great content. Hey, man, thank you. Glad you guys are enjoying watching me suck at this game. Ain't what I used to be, but we're still going strong, dude. Still going strong. All right, tower and tower. We want to get some control. Let's get the crossbows of doom. Kashyyyk upgrades. And then we just do like a timing push here in a second. And we can probably do a little bit of steamrolling. We will see. The boats are obviously in good shape. We got all that deep sea fish going like champs. And um, we need one more junk in the trunk. All right. Once we get two junks, it's a timing push. Should we push the navy and we push water at the same time, potentially? Yeah, which uh, could be good. And then we need to get another TC going like that. That's, uh, that's something that's pretty important here. We have enough on golds. Okay. Go see what it looks like over here, shall we? It's gonna finish. Could throw in some men at arms as well if we want to. Wouldn't be a bad idea to mix it in. Okay, he just got castle, so we still have a little bit of time before he hits his timing. And I'm gonna get that just to guarantee I, I take the water basically. All right, cool. Archer upgrades are coming. Let's head down, go have some fun. Take you guys down, disrupt the uh, navy here. Plus we have the piracy upgrade, so we're actually gonna get quite a bit of money from this. Yeah, which is gonna be awesome, so. All right, team. Let's go steamroll this army. 
Okay, get the crossy shooting and then pull back a little bit. Is this the con? No, it's Mango Die, goddammit. The con is like so easy to just miss. Alright, let's do the uh, upgrade here. Okay, looks like the Coral Tie is coming, but his units are not upgraded yet, so I think we can just methodically pick them off and then we're good. Looking good, and also at the same time, he's losing all of his food, so he's just gonna he's gonna lose this fight unless he something changes drastically. I mean, he might win this skirmish here, but um, that that's gonna hurt really bad. All right, yeah, this is just this is just money here. Okay, men at arms are on the way. We'll have another con soon. We can do a little arrow emplacements. Get the yam network, the ham network. All right, so let's get you guys back. Do this. Yeah, that's brutal. His food's gonna really start tanking. And then we can just gather up the team. Go for round two here. Alright, let's do that. Get you guys to come out. Alright, and then... Cool! And uh, where are we at? Alright, let's get more fishing boats. This is pretty nasty here. Everything's gone. Oh, he's got a oh, nice demo ship. It's gonna hurt. Unless he forgets to micro it. And it looks like the ship is going to go down before it gets to use its demo. A little bit focused on microing in a couple places, which is good for me. And then we want to get siege engineering improved so we can start making some good equipment here. All right. Go, go. Oh my god, look at all the relics being taken, dude. I'm just like some just peasant in the corner with no relics. Yeah, that was good though. That was that was pretty brutal. Because he, he's going to start struggling to replenish his forces now. And I can just move in with mass armor and hopefully seal the deal. We'll see. Oh, he's still holding well. All things considered. Yeah, the Kuril Tai is giving him the fighting edge against us. Okay, let's get you to move to the middle. And then you guys can head to the middle as well, start purging all the gold from the land. Go, go, men at arms and crossies. Just give me a good quality army. Alright. What are these, just archers? Oh, there's crossies in there too. Okay, I was wondering why they were doing well. That veteran Kashyyyk is pretty chad. But now he's fighting away from his support element, so hopefully we'll be able to do something. See a Rus hunting cabin there. The dreaded Mongolian civil war continues. And both sides are taking heavy casualties. Let's get back. We need to get some art, basic archers. Do we have our con back? We do have our con. All right. It's time for the con to give the uh, defense arrow. Oh, hello. Okay, he's got some uh, some siege equipment coming in. Seems like he knows what he's doing. Okay. Ooh, thankfully, he's shooting these guys, not my my army here. All right. We just gotta. We don't have enough like time to set up our own siege. Probably well, we can set up a little bit. Okay. Pull these guys under the TC, pop them in the face real quick. Alright, you guys go here. Uh, you can just get on lumber. Back you go, let's get you. If we can just sweep this army once, I think we're in good shape. He's moving in range of the TC too. Shit! Oh my god, the Roos! That's gonna, that's gonna screw us, we just lost so much eco. Holy shit, that might have just lost us this battle. We were otherwise going to win this, I think, because how is he going to stop all these horsemen, right? Shits, dude. We just lost so much eco for that. All right, let's fan out. Okay, so that went well. But the Roost just absolutely owned us here. We just got, we just plowed, basically. We've kept the Mongols at bay, but now we just lost all that eco, dude. Oh, we're going to be so behind. Let's get some more food. We basically have multi-TC. I mean, we did shut down his, his coastal food, which is nice. Teal crashed, did he? Okay. Well, red is not looking friendly either. All right, so let's get some springs in here. Can load them up. Come on, team. There you go. Let's get back. Who needs relics when you have piracy, I know. Whisper is being real sweaty here, trying to block my uh, my thing from getting back, and I probably need to, it reminds me I need to get the upgrade for the uh, speedy buildings. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Do that, and then you guys go over here. And yeah, I think we're actually in substantial problems. Oh look, the dreaded monkey see monkey do. 
He's copied me. And it's working. All right, let's go in here and here. All right, so we're going to go, like, down the coast here. I might need to pack up and just leave. This area sucks, dude. Yeah, this area is not fun at all. Okay, so we're going to go down, do a little bit of eco raiding. Red is killing my, my landmark in the middle. And we're about to have two boats pop out, so let's go down and see what Mongol shenanigans we can get to the bottom of. Okay, so looking here. Okay, back to food you go. Let's keep looking around. Red has gotten our landmark. Now we might need to switch into pasture economy, I'm not sure. He's got his like crossbow legion here. Looks like our junks have won the duel. Yeah, we just found a lot of these guys. Cool. Our food sucks, dude. It sucks right now. Bad. Are we getting any bills? We are getting some, yeah. Yeah, he's losing a fair amount of villagers to us here. We need this to equalize the war, because otherwise he's winning, right? With with the damage red. Red killed like 15 of my bills. So, so I'd be in the pits of hell right now. Yeah, he's losing a lot of villagers here. Okay. Let's do this. Get some pastures going. We're gonna need it, man. We're gonna need it bad. Okay, we get these guys on the coast. You guys peruse down here. And we have another war junk there. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of early aggro these streams. We have. Which is good. It's good practice. It definitely will make you lose the game, but in an FFA. Usually the people who win are the ones who are left alone. Can just kind of do their own thing. Okay, let's get some more springs. We have them. Holy shit. Oh my god, red's coming for blood. Okay, I'm part of me thinks that I like pack up and move. Like away from all this. Because red is Imperial. Whisper is, is a Dark Lord. Oh my god. I am lucky that that's not me be being attacked right now. Alright, uh I legit think I'm gonna move, like move up river. Alright. Okay, let's go up here. We're gonna like do this, and unless he's watching the stream, he probably won't notice me do this. Okay. Okay, let's do this. You guys can go jump on the tree line here. And you can go this way. Mongols are so cool. The fact that you can even do this is just rad, right? Okay, so we have Dark Age Rush up there. Um, so I've relocated my position. Okay. So we're back online in the corner. We've moved away a little bit knowing that it's like the danger zone. And now we can get our Cognate Palace, which is like the coolest landmark. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah, let's get the Cognate Palace. Screw it. Slap some eco upgrades down. All right. Yeah, no, I'm Skaven now. Because Red just absolutely just dominated here. I'm going to try and stay to see if I can get some resources. Um, you know, maybe. Make some more fishing boats here. There, there can only be one haggard Mongol gremlin in the game, and that's going to be me, dude. I don't really have too many places to flee. I'm hoping I don't have to make, like, a mass exodus. There's no way I can take that red army. There's no way in hell. Maybe I make a bunch of barracks because he's mass knights. We're trying to kill this in case it's his last landmark. Okay, red's not going to let me have the loot of that base. Alright, so that's down. Is it? Gold's going to be sparse. Because uh, red is just completely... Red is tyrant, guys. I don't know if they know that. Like, I, I hope, hopefully people in the game know how scary red is right now. Cognate Palace is making me an army of elite units, which is cool. And, uh, is somebody poking into my base here? Hmm, weird. Oh, these guys are. That's strange. Red's definitely the Dark Lord. Um, alright, so let's get a new Vu set up here. We do have a little bit of stone. Maybe we can do that. We need someone to kill Red. Orange is basically toast. Um, this is being mined. Okay. 
I guess we have this node here, which is something. And uh, let's go ahead and buy a little bit of this. We almost have enough for a TC here. All right. We got the big army. We're going to go like see if or all of Orange's buildings got farmed. If not, you know, hey, we'll take the scraps. We do have a little bit of building being here. This is like the ultimate wonder corner. If that Mongol player had lived, holy shit, he would have been just like rolling in it, dude. Just going to build a million spears. Red, I'm too weak. Dude, he owns the entire middle. He has my step readout held prisoner. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing down here, which is a fair amount of resources, so let's come down here and do this. You have to make sure this Mongol player doesn't, like, reestablish. Oh, Red's, Red's just torching his shit still, okay. Alright, team. Keep it going. If Red leaves, I might move to that corner. <laughs> I might just, like, pack up my shit and go. I'm just like, alright. I definitely don't feel as if I'm in a winning position. Okay, let's get an Obu here. We haven't had an Obu for a long time, boys. That's had resources. Uh, all right, let's get the raiding bounty. And yes, we want to get the raiding bounty. Uh, let's do that. All right. So next up, we sneak this in. Um, that dock is offline. Yes. Red is red is going elsewhere. Oh God, Bill. Let's see if you could hide. Seems like he's got a bit of a hard on for me. I'm not gonna lie. He keeps keeps appearing in my lands. Very, uh, very troll. All right. So, do we have any upgrades? Yeah, we need to just slowly get our potato army up to, up to task here. Um, you just more fishing probably is is the way. Ah, we got the nest of bees from the Cognate Palace. Hell yeah, dude. No, come on, guys. You know I don't need more wood. Make 90 Kashyyyks and Landmark Snipe? I'm thinking about it. Right now, I'm just trying to survive. I'm channeling my inner Smeagol. Just like kind of feeling out the landscape, you know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go down here. Oh, man. We're going to piss off Red here. Oh, but I can't just cower in the corner. I got to do something. This is going to be bad, though, guys. I'm going to get wrecked here so badly. I mean, I'll get these villagers, but... I mean, maybe I could take a bit of Red's army. We'll chase him. I'm here for the scraps, dude. Uh, why am I even getting that upgrade? Bounties! Give me the Mongol bounties! God, I have yellow behind me, too. Just all bad news bears, dude. Alright, so let's go see what scraps lie down here, if any. Maybe there's like a trade post laying around. Oh, Roost Knight's coming. Good thing he's just massing knights. Otherwise, I, could, I would just probably lose to him. But the fact that I can just make spears to counter is pretty nice. Okay, so those guys have left. Let's take the Mangu die down here and again, make sure he's not alive. The problem with this corner is there's not a lot of resources. But man, in terms of uh, in terms of the positioning, it's pretty good. Yeah, the Roos are scary, dude. They're they're very tyrannical right now. I haven't had any opportunities to trade because the trade post is being guarded by the Roos Master in the middle. Uh, do we have army tactics yet? Not yet. Um, definitely want to get that. Can we get that soon? Ah, yes, we found him. He's saying I'll let you be, but I don't come past your side of the water. So. If you guys want a direct translation of what he's saying, he's saying, I'm in a war with someone else and I want to crush them, so don't don't mess with that. Which, considering my state, maybe is worth taking. Um, but yeah, we need to go root out the Mongols down here and make sure this is uh, this is our territory. So, um, Alright. We're going to gather up the team. Let's do this. This is the beginning of our great Mongol Empire down here. The Great Corner Empire. I just need a trade spot, dude. There's like nowhere to trade with. Yeah, we have this like tent here. All right, so we're gonna take that down. Um, I'm really, really tempted to move into that corner. Like, just maximum tempted. I need gold. I need gold. All right, let's let's try this. Let's go a little Mission Impossible here. So we're gonna try this and try and repair this. Okay, so we're gonna torch this down. Probably gonna lose all these villagers, but it's okay. We have two TC, so we'll survive. And let, let none survive. 
Oh, hello. Look at this guy. He's just got such a heart on here. I kind of want to attack him now that he keeps trolling me like this. You know? I, part of me wants to just go to war. And just lose, but go out, you know, at least sending a message here. No, 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 no. You guys get back in the base. Spearmen. Oh, my spearmen aren't even elite yet? Shit. I thought they were. Okay. So we might have to just fight red here. I don't know why these bills are seeking vengeance for those who've wronged them, but... Alright, so we'll take this army on. I don't know if we'll even win, but we'll try it. Okay, so we get that. We do have a lot of spears in the base. Um, you guys can go over here. Yellow, no! Yellow, please! Oh, yellow! Uh, I will not cross. We gotta use the haggard politics now. Because I am, I am legit being swarmed, guys. Alright, so can we actually move this landmark? Yeah, we can. Okay, so let's get you guys, make some spears. Yellow wants blood, clearly. You guys need to come down to the bottom of the map. We actually put up a good fight against this army, even with a veteran tier units. Okay, so he's got a chub for taking me down. And let's do this, do this, this, this. You guys come down here. And yeah, he's basically done his part. Okay, so let's do that. You guys go down here. As a matter of fact, let's come all the way down here. All right, so we actually have a couple of nasty bees here, which is pretty funny. Let's see if we could like hold off some of these. Oh, this is just pure suffering. This position. We need to like distract a little bit. I need to make peace with red somehow. That's that's also a big variable. If red comes after me, though, I'm just toast. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I have nothing here to fight him. Alright, so we have our little tower network. Kaganate Palace needs to start getting online again, if possible. And set up the Kaganate Palace. And hopefully Yellow will leave me be. I don't know. We do have these boats. Let's go start shooting at his fleet here. Or his guys. Alright. So, is there anything we can do? We could make cannon towers, maybe. Like a spot with which to try and make a bit of a stand. Alright, so you guys get on the tree line. Uh, let's get a lot of you guys going on the trees here. And yellow needs to... Yellow needs to just calm down right now. Like, straight up. Alright, so... Oh, look, we found, a, we found a gremlin here! Oh, no! I almost pity him. I almost pity him, but... You know, it, 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 we can't be allowed to have this shit going on here. Is he building just a random, like, wall tower to just troll me there? Oh my god, look at that. Okay, we need a dock here to keep our fishing fleet online. Alright, so those guys are consolidating. We have a couple cannon emplacements. At least we're going to be able to get our, our shooting back online. Okay, Phil has been eliminated, so I don't need to waste time with that. Let's get a Uvu here, and then we can do this, and then... I don't know if this thing actually benefits from the Uvu, but... We got a big army. Okay, let's back it up. And we might need to set up a pasture situation. Okay. So we got our little rat's corner. We're taking, taking the Spiegel approach. We still have a decent eco, interestingly enough. These guys are going pretty hard in the paint down here. There's even a gold node here. It's, I mean, it's basically bare. There's basically nothing, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so yellow is going to get dragged into mortal combat with someone else. Alright, so let's see what kind of, like, production we can get going here. Oh lord, he coming? Yeah, see, now he's getting attacked by somebody who's actually scary. Hey, at least we survived the initial onslaught, guys. We, we, we held on like Sigmar. It was good. Alright, so we have another TC down here. Not yet, but we will. I think our eco's good, but it's always good to have a bunch of TCs, honestly. I need to go try and snake my landmark back, if I can. Um, do I want to get more towers here? Yes. It's like basically our only chance at surviving here. Alright, so we have what? Towers coming up on the top. Yep, going after my random towers here. Unfortunately, these are mostly barracks. Cav cavalry is more useful in these like haggard rat situations. 
So what we need to do is get a cav core up and then just go like riding around with it and just have some fun. Um, all right, so let's get uh, this if we can. Do that and uh, cool. So we're getting walled in, which is fine. It's better than him coming to kill us. And I could make some troopers. Might as well make some spears for now because it's something, it's better than nothing and maybe the nest of bees can like hold. It looks like he's not, it's very weird what he's doing. I mean, I could just even make rams to take that down too. And then I think I have some archery ranges in here too. All right, let's make some siege workshops. Okay, we're gathering up and we're still alive. But, you know, resources are going to run a little bit sparse here. Don't know what's going on. Let's move these guys over. Don't have enough stone for that. 125 gold, huh? Is that what it is? Yeah, we have like, we have that one gold node, I guess, which I should probably start mining. Is he really building stone wall towers here? Holy shit. Madman, dude. I don't even have elite horsemen. Goddamn. Losing a bit of units. Uh, let's go see if he's trying to get in the water over here. Our fishing fleet's still pretty healthy, I would say. We can make rams and knock all that shit down when the time comes. Um, it looks like there's a Lodia attack ship there. Let's get that upgrade. That should deal with it. Yeah, he's setting up like a bunch of stone towers. The thing is, he's going to run into enemies and he's going to end up with an annoying rat in his back door. So that's the, that's the plan. Let's get veteran horsemen. All right, guys. Yeah, I know. Good day to pick Mongols, dude. If I didn't pick Mongols, I'd be toast right now. We would have just been surrounded and circle, circle uh, smashed there. Okay, so pretty annoying, those little towers, but the Rams should be able to deal with them. Let's go blast those. Have the Mangonels do their thing. Then we can come down and support with these. The Roost boat is, is just coming back and forth here. And then we need to get Elite if we can. You know, we still have some time before that finishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're in the corner. Blue is attacking pretty heavily, it looks like. These towers, like, aren't terribly impactful anyways. All right, let's see if we can repair this. All right. Let's knock it down. Maybe he comes over here, maybe he doesn't. Um, Kashyyyks are going to be pretty expensive, although they're only 80 Gs, so maybe we just do that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Why is the- why are there like four armies running into my corner here? Why is this? Oh my god. Why, dude? Why are you fighting here? Don't you have bigger fish to fry? Oh god, dude. Okay, we got the nest of bees, which is pretty clutch here, actually. Look at this shit! What is this, dude? Get out of here! Oh my god, Red's here with a, like a full army now too. They got like lured to me. Alright, so we need to get some mangoes to have any chance of surviving. Red, be gone! Okay, so we send you guys to go take this down and then we get rid of this. Dude, it's just like hell down here, dude. This is what hell looks like. Granted, we do have a full army, which is at least cool. Um, our food is basically just in the shit. We could do a pasture economy. I don't know if Red's still like down here. Okay. He's got a couple guys up in the walls. I think Red is leaving at least. We do have a good army, like I said, but man, how can we get gold? Is there any possible way? I think we can build a Chad, can't we? Like a Bow Chad? No, it wouldn't be a bad idea, probably. Um, gold nodes over there most likely being taken already. We do have cannon towers. Um, I don't even know where... You, where do you get that new upgrade for the Mongols, by the way? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure where that one comes from. Okay, I'm literally walled in by red and by yellow. These guys just have, like, a blood feud to kill me. Okay. So we'll get a Chad. Won't be super upgraded, but certainly going to be better than nothing. And, um... I'm just the local local attack this guy. Yeah. I don't have a market right now. We need to get one of those. I, I can't escape, really. I mean, I could go out and fight, but then my, I could get counterattacked and my base would just die. So that's uh, kind of scary. Alright, let's keep making boats. 
We'll take the horsemen only and the Kashyyyks. And I believe these are Mangudai, so we can take them with us. Oh, those are horse archers. That's pretty funny. He's having he's having a good old jolly time. All right, so we'll go do some raiding. We're gonna run out of wood here eventually too in our little corner. That's that's one of the problems I'm I'm starting to foresee. Granted, we have a lot of wood, so maybe it won't be a huge deal. All right, so we're gonna push up. We can make some kashiks, make some horsemen. Chads are on the way out. I know transports exist, but it's uh it's not gonna be. Not gonna be free, I can assure you. He probably has more walls here, let's see. The dreaded mango die will 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 kite him hopefully. Let's go see. Oh, that's not good. That's a dead end, so we need to try and squeak through here. Okay, hopefully the Chad will pop out here in a second. Okay, we didn't lose that much. His whole army is just like melee. So I just like spam mango die or something? It could be kind of fun. I think we have some artillery laying around too, siege workshops. Mainly just man at arms and stuff, yeah. He would have trouble blitzing me because of the nest of bees. But we're just kind of exploring his lands right now, seeing what, what the neighborhood looks like. Looks like there's an English player doing its thing. No, the new tower upgrade side of the Abu, thank you. Yeah, I was wondering where that one was. Can we actually squeak through here? No, not gonna happen. Okay. Did we get the Chad? Chad hasn't popped out yet. Hasn't popped out yet. Yeah, we just fight for a second. That's a problem. Get the devoured Chad. And we should be able to repair this thing with our fishing boats. Cool. So against that army comp, like probably honestly man at arm isn't like a terrible idea. We're still, we still don't even have biology, which sucks. Um, I'm scheming some ideas. Trying to figure out how I can get out of this rat's nest here. With red on one side and yellow, I think I need one of them to beat the other one. And then we can maybe live our best life. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's get you. We got 30 of you guys. Let's get them finishing all these. And we can have the sheep swarming here. So we have some land food just in case things go south. Alright, so we need to get all of you guys. Fight here. It's like he's coming for it. I do have cannon towers and nest of bees and stuff, so... We might be able to win this fight, actually, believe it or not. With the home field advantage. Yeah, and the nest of bees and the cannon towers and stuff. Oh man, we were getting close to taking that down. He's rushing the backfield now. Cannon towers are definitely doing work, but... We got a lot of haggard units. Basically just the trash armies of the gods. Alright, do we have another one? Yeah, we have another Chad coming. I mean... It's not a whole lot of raiding he can do, honestly. He might be able to do a little bit, but the horsemen will intercept these guys. And... Is he Delhi? Oh, he's Delhi. Oh, shit, okay. Once again, the rat in the corner holds, baby. Yes. Yes, good. We need to get army tactics. Just sell. Just sell resources. All right, guys. I've embraced my rat life already. Oh, God, my Skaven lifestyle. Yeah, food is hurting. His rating didn't really do anything. Definitely annoying, but it uh, did not do much. Okay, so his last couple guys got chased here. We can get more cannon towers. I think, honestly, that's going to be the, 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 the play. Um, how are we looking here? Yeah, these guys got hunted. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of docks here. Alright, so yeah, we didn't really lose much. I mean, we lost our chads with sloppy micro, but yeah, we got our we got our rat our rat corner with which to live. And what is this landmark here? Oh, that's somebody's. Oh, can I actually trade with that? Hold on, I don't think I can because it's not deployed, unfortunately. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do much with that. Oh, look, now he's asking for peace. This is this is exactly when you don't give it, dude. All right, so let's get one more chat out. I'm done coming at you till you come at me. Can take back your tree. I wonder where this sudden generosity comes from. It's probably the fact that he's he's in Mortal Kombat. That would be my guess. Alright, so we need to make rams. 
We have like no way of getting gold whatsoever. Let's just get on this tree line here. Pastures are going strong. Dude, I know. I'm, I'm I'm the rat in the walls right now, dude. Yeah, he still has those big those big positions here. Let's move out. Just keep working on this. Move up. The new con rises. Battering ramps will be here soon. That'll give us a little bit. Um, trade is all the way up there. Ay ay ay. Let's go see if there's any resources here. Looks like you guys can go do this. I need to go find like a dead player's base is really what would be ideal. Let's go see if I can just like ride across the map here. I can go all day, baby. All right. With my my two upgrades that I have. Oh god, I don't even have biology, guys. This hurts. Uh, all right. <laughs> He's coming back for round two, it would appear. Um, all right, so let's get the uh, biology upgrades. Probably good for our horsemen. I'm getting tree. Did my horseman make it anywhere? Oh, they actually made it. He's got mostly spears. His army isn't amazing. I was getting the silver tree like he said, but... Okay, so these guys just keep torching. Let's go look for gold. Um, we got our tower network going. This landmark's almost done. Gotta max out on upgrades if possible. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take these down, take these down. He's making demo ships here, which is pretty pretty awful to see. Alright. So we got a couple of bills coming out. They're gonna try and rebuild this. Not that it really will help us too much, but gonna get rid of like take this opportunity to get rid of my position here. Oh, hold up, hold up. I have an idea. Oh hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, there's there's a little funny opportunity here. Okay. Well, hey, I'm still alive. That's something, right? I'm gonna knock these down. You got that being rebuilt. The ultimate jank idea is on the way. Yes, my minions, yes. Oh, he's walling it. He's walling it. That was my scheme. I saw an opportunity for some trade. Okay, he's walling all this. All right, let's get you guys. Knock this down, this down, this down. Red's still tyrant? Yeah, of course he is, dude. I see a lot of foreign battles. Dealing with red now, huh? Some confidence in those words. Is he almost dead? Is this true? Does this mean I can escape from this side? Can I finally be free of my rat cage? We're doing the dreaded trade. We're gonna go see if we can get through here. Yes, farm bounty. <laughs> we just have a couple units in uh, orange silver tree. I don't know if it works if they're undeployed though. We thirst for blood. All right. Red's building a keep here. He probably suspects some craziness. Oh, we got five warrior monks. Hell yeah, dude. Kagane Palace is such a fun landmark. Okay, so we need to get all of our traders and send them here. Let's see if we can. Oh, shit. We can, but the trade route's awful, so we, we want to come here. Okay, you guys do that. And you come here. All right, now we have to be extra sneaky, super sneaky. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is so shit. Hold on, all right, let's get our traders. <laughs> yes, yes, my pretties, feast. We're back, baby. <laughs> We're back in business. All right, let's take our landmark back to the corner so we can have that. 
Uh, I could get another oboe here too, which would be nice. Dark Age Rush is working some diplomacy, which means that uh, he's probably busy fighting somebody else. You guys do this. Yeah, we'll just brute force this. Keep down. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Red, Red is indeed not close to death. Red still very alive, by the way. Showed up with Knight Bombo. Yeah, he is. He is um, definitely not dead. Attack now, or forever hold your peace. Because I'm gonna die right now, most likely. All right, we need to get a landmark out of here, stat. So let's get you over here. I mean, we might be able to hold this. Let's get you guys over here, sneaking around the back. Okay, so losing some villagers here and there. Oh my god, Red is far from dead, dude. He needs, he needs, uh, he needs to be stopped by the rest of the game. This is their chance to slow him down. I don't know how he sees this, but he does. And uh, what we can do now is set up some getaway ships so we can do some transport ships and just try and keep some, some of our dudes alive here. All right, let's just take down these walls. It's fine. Red south at the moment. There's a chance that other people could try and take on red. We'll see. Bottom of map. Killing the old starving uh, corner player here. No pee. No problem, dude. You guys do your thing. If I die here, this is where we go. We've been a gremlin the entire game. Let's hide you guys here. Get you in a transport ship here. We're gonna like lure this thing away, see if we can do a little something something. We've been amassing an army in the back. I do have a lot of spears now, so maybe we can hold part of it. We'll see. Mainly just spearmen. Um, any other landmarks I want to try and get away? Yes. So we're gonna go here, 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 and here. Although that's gonna basically be impossible. Yeah, we have our little spear legion fighting in the shadows. But it's probably not enough, considering how dense that army is. Okay, pull back, pull back. Gather up what we can. Uh, we can take some villagers on a transportation journey. Let's take them back. We need to find a way. There's literally nowhere to run because I've been walled in so much. Yeah, we, we have like nowhere to escape to. Troopers are fighting valiantly, though, all things considered. They're not doing bad. Okay, looks like Red's having to pull back now. Somebody, somebody must have gotten the message and attack him, so maybe I can hold here. Uh, we're gonna need some cannon towers, like stat, because those Streltsy are giving us the dirty. Alright, pulling back. Let's see if we can do this. And the Cognate Palace will live, in a, live to fight another day. Come on, boys. Sell a little bit. Uh. This thing's making an army here. Hopefully it'll finish soon. Trying to hang in there, but it's been tough, man, being this corner rat. Yeah, it's being this corner rat's been good. We're gonna have a cannon tower popping up here in a second, which will help clear this army out. She's just absolutely massacring us. The second cannon tower is coming up. Our eco's 88, which is still decent. We still have all these guys here too, which is nice. We have our escape boats in case we needed to escape, but. Alright, Silver Tree. We'll get you kind of hiding in the shadows here. Hopefully, those cannon emplacements will uh, start to wear down this army. So, Strelts here just dominating us in combat. Fully upgraded, and I'm like potato upgrades, dudes. Uh, sell here. Get this. He's just, like leaving basically part of his army to try and stop me here, which is, seems to be working. Alright, let's get in there. Garrison up. Just gotta live. Just gotta find a way to live. Okay, let's go here and here. Squeak away there. Maybe the TC garrisons will be able to get him eventually. Who knows? Oh boy. Siege workshop's in trouble. 
Manganel should come back online soon. Ooh. We getting it? We getting some Streltsy down? Yeah, they're getting worn down. That's our fake TC, so we're not like too upset about that. We got 28 bills all garrisoned up. Let's get you guys and start fleeing the scene. We can get you in here and just get in the towers. All right, here we go, baby. The critical mass. It's time to come back. Need to go clean those Streltsy out, like right now. Oh my god, these guys are still going. Kagane Palace back to the corner. Gather Rohirrim! Generals gathered in the masses. Just like witches and black masters. Evil minds that plot destruction. Ah, Mangos, we need to get on the Streltsy blob. Alright, Vils are going down pretty damn hard here. Maybe we can win this fight with the Streltsy getting bonked in the head. Yeah, he's, he's clearly not microing them right now. He's busy elsewhere, so. Okay. Let's just get whatever we can. You guys move in. Keep bonking the Streltsy on the head. Oh my god, just random dudes everywhere. Okay, you guys go back to your, your blessed corner farming. All right. Yeah, my god, it's finally cleaned up almost. His unit quality is so much better than mine. Ugh. He's got these random man at arms. Just not. Oh, he's not actually fully upgraded. Wow. That'd be a first. Okay. Ah, oh, look at my boats going, dude. These these junks. I built those junks earlier to deal with the. Um, yeah, and did we get the Cognate Palace? We did. Great. All right. So. We don't have a whole lot going on here. We did have some units in those towers, yes. Um, we're not dead yet. We're almost fully upgraded, which is cute, all things considered. Um, I believe we have biology. Probably want to get more fishing going while we still have the wood to do it, because it's literally our only way. Hold, oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a second, guys. Well, we'll let those fishing boats finish, and then we'll, we'll do our scheme after that. I'm gonna go do a little bit of raiding against Red if he hasn't like walled, because he's 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 gonna just come back for me. He clearly wants to kill me. Sorry, so can we not have peace as we once did, old friend? All right, do we have any Uvu positions? Like straight up, no. I mean, maybe we should have built the other landmark, but the Kagane Palace is so cool. Nope, not gonna happen. So let's breach through here. He is going to come like a wrecking ball, I would imagine. Mm, yeah, we got that silver tree here. Ah, do we need these? We don't need to delete them yet either. Alright, so how much is that going to cost? Yeah, it's going to be a bit. Oh, they're just the haggard trading is so bad. Whisper needs to die for sure. He's clearly the tyrant in this game. Okay, we'll just keep punching our way through. It's fine. Uh, basically a rat. It's <laughs> pretty funny. He's like defending this pretty valiantly here. I'm basically just a corner rat at this point. Ah, give me that bounty, baby. Start working on that keep here. This is the time of heroes, guys. This is where the big money is made. Yeah, the uh, Cognate Palace. Yeah, get the improved production from Blacksmith. Yeah, makes sense. Probably should. There's certainly a lot I need. I'm just broke as hell right now, so it ain't gonna happen. I'm taking one for the team, by the way, by making him angry, by the way. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do a little cross-pawn trade. He's gonna rewall that, and uh, yeah, probably come and just end me here in the minute. You guys got a team red, or it's GG. Okay, so any other upgrades I want? Yeah, we got the siege workshops. I believe we still have the barracks. We still have a handful of barracks. Cool. He has private trade, yeah. As if he has a wonder. Okay. So this is going down here, the big plays. 
Oh god, that's so bad. That was not worth it. I guess it's better than no gold whatsoever, but not by much. Even I'll help take down the tyrant here. My haggard rams will will knock on heaven's door. Okay. Get you guys on the food here. Keep lumberjacking through. A ram drop would be very funny. Yeah, I've been scheming it. I think we still have the transport ships here. Seems unanimous. The fact that he's not even arguing means that he's definitely definitely villainy here. God, I have no upgrades, I don't think, do I? Oh god. Look at him trying to pretend like he's he's broke. Okay, let's sell some resources. Okay, do we have enough for banded? We need 400 Gs for that. All right, so let's take our Dread Legion, head over, and just start like doing some base damage to get some resources. From here, max out on Horsemen, and Spearmen is going to be our army comp for now. We have the Dreaded Naval trade going. Red being... Ch he is Mordor, though. He just rolls around with his Doomstacks and punishes everyone. Oh, man, okay. This is pretty troll. We just fan out here. I mean, is that even really worth it? I don't know. Probably not. Now I'm, I'm doing my part, baby. The big plays. Hopefully everyone else is actually attacking him, though. Because like, most a lot of our food's on this side, too, so we're not like too worried about that other point there. Yes, knock down the keeps, get the pressure going. Okay. We're going to run out of resources here very soon, officially. Now he's sending out some attack ships, which is cute. We don't really have the gold to do anything about it, so just, you know, basically it. I just have to hope that the other players are attacking him, because I'm, I'm poking the uh, the hornet's nest right now, you know? Well, the thing is, red seems to have, like, really good trade somewhere on the map, so it's kind of like, uh, yeah, he's got private trade. I mean, how is he funding all of this? He's clearly fighting on multiple fronts, right? Here he comes. Here he comes with a bit of a raggedy old army here. You guys better attack. If they don't, if everyone else is just making me suffer and send my shit ass wood units at him, that's gonna be so bad, dude. All right, let's get a war junk here, just a single one. Yeah, clearly because nobody else is attacking right now. Because otherwise he wouldn't be able to just roll down with the doom stack and karate chop me like that. Ooh, we're about to run out of wood in our little corner. All right, Kaganate Palace. Didn't get much bounty there. Um, what is idle right now? Oh, it's the fishing boats, that's right. Might as well just fish until the sun, sun and stars die out here. All right, what can we do to get the Chad? Okay, let's get a Chad here. Hey, we can secure these waters. Okay. Let's come down here. Get you guys to go down here. Yes, good. So clearly he probably already resealed this breach. Oh man, come on. It's going to be tough when we run out here, guys. Go Raiders! Red has close to 1k passive gold. Probably, yeah. Probably accurate. Alright, we'll get in and help. Although we should probably just keep the spheres at home. They're not going to be too helpful on the aggression. We just want the resources, basically. Alright, let's do that. Yes. Go, my minions. Go forth, my horned beasts. Why are you guys just not fishing here? Come on. Back to work, you peons. Yes. Yes. Good. I see I see landmarks over there, so that's, that's outstanding. The dreaded ram drop. What's my real name? Nick? Yeah, Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, he almost got me there. Good thing the old rams made it. It's one way to get him out of the water. With brute, brute force Ramstein. 
Alright, let's head to his base. <laughs> Whisper is not happy at all about this, by the way, it looks like. It's a corner with water protecting. Yeah, it seems like some saltiness is rising. Hey, welcome to my club, dude. I've been getting 2v1 all game. You now you get a taste of the rainbow. Oh, look at this trade, dude. It's only 30, I suppose. Okay, so the dreaded ram push is how I can best contribute, for sure. Now we get these guys to come and start popping some of the bills. Is there any way I can find some trade around here, though? It would be nice. Hey, we're getting some resources, though. You know, from the old uh, from the old ram steining. Yes. Yes, my minions. Rise, minions, rise! Why are you guys just not doing your thing? Oh, these are trade ships, I guess. Pretty useless. Okay, we definitely trolled there. I mean, it put some pressure on him. He had lost a fair amount of eco, I would wager. Alright, so let's get you guys. Let's do this. We need to get fully upgraded. and yeah, We might be able to finally do that now. All right, let's see what um, we're missing. So we have biology, we have the military academy. Let's get both those. Cogginate Palace making some guards. Let's take our horsemen in. The Ramstein push was good. It was solid. <laughs> let's let's just keep let's keep getting in there, dudes. I feel like there's a few wonders ready. Absolutely, he's coming. He's probably coming to kill me with just a pure rage boner right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the imagery of that, like a rage boner. It's just like hilarious, you know. All right, so if he's gonna do this, we're gonna go raid his base while he kills us. <laughs> yeah, hopefully somebody else is going after him, and we can just like hide in the depths of our base and and hold. Okay, let's go. You see, the rage boner is on its way. This is just just the hatred of a thousand men for being attacked by the crappy ram troll. Okay, let's go see. Here we go, baby. It's not my birthday now. My birthday's in July. It's a running gag on the channel where people just say it's my birthday all the time. It's 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 just been around since the dawn of time. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. The ra we have to we have to get retribution against the rage boner master here. Yes, my minions. Yes, raid, raid. All right, so this TC needs to creep over here. Yes, kill the trade. Take the minions down. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We're actually getting some pretty effective rating here, believe it or not. Alright, so let's take down some of the farms. He's coming in like a wrecking ball. He came in like a wrecking ball. I don't know if we it's even worth trying to hold. Alright, so we're going to try a little bit there. We still have some bills. Um, we have the Nesta Beast position holding for us. You guys. Let's get you in the transport ship and move up. And we need to... Yellow does, doesn't seem to have any bombs with us. So I think we just go deal with that. Alright, so... Do we have any horsemen here? Yeah, we have some fighting in the pits. If we can, like, defend against the ground army here, we might actually be able to... Might actually be able to push him back. Although, it looks like he's been killing a ton of our infrastructure, so... Likely not going to happen. All right. Let's start making bills here. Need you guys to just, you know, waddle up and find a new promised land somewhere. Oh, we should get the Cogginate Palace out of there. So that should go here, here, and here. And maybe he won't go all the way down to the corner. Let's see if we can, like, hide. This is so funny. How annoying. Mongols are just so resilient in FFA games. It's crazy. Oh, stop shooting him, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna draw his attention. Come on, guys. Come on. We need to find a little rat's nest. Somewhere like a dead base. Those villagers are on a great exodus. Red, super angrily chasing me down. Hopefully somebody else is actually attacking him, man. I felt like if, if, they, if that was the case, then I wouldn't be getting blitzed like that, but... Oh, only one's made it. Uh. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> We're setting up where we can. Uh, did that landmark make it away? Okay. Let's run the markets. Run the landmarks. These cannons are waiting angrily. Alright, we're gonna chill here. Alright, boys. Finish it off. 
Come on, set it up. Here he comes, the rage boner. Get in the corner as far as possible. Hide in the corner. I'm drawing the attention of the eye. Oh, absolutely, dude. I, he's he is hate bonering me now. Um. All right. No. 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 Don't kill my villager, please. Okay. He's trying. Size trying to let me live here, which I respect. Um. I wish there was somewhere to flee on this map. There really isn't. Sir. Is okay. All the cannons are right there, dude. He's got like. Red has 20 plus bombard spot. Okay, go, 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 go! Go, motor scooter! Uh! Uh! Okay. Here we go, baby. Red is really a tyrant, though. I don't know how he's so strong, dude. Jesus, you know? You guys can go ahead and set up docks here for all these little fishing boats. They have nowhere to turn in right now. He's leaving. He's pushing here, so we need to lure him back this way again. A new con rises. Good, good. I have no idea how he's how nobody is going after him here. Okay, that's good. There's not any way to really get through here. We're gonna send some rams at the old keep. Let's try and like draw his ire away. We're gonna set up one market there and set up one market here. We're doing our part, you know? Even if it's 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 a meme, you know? We're still doing our part to uh, contribute to the, uh, the great war effort. Okay, wood's gonna become very sparse now though. Still have a million sheep down here. All right. Oh man. How do we survive this, dude? Do we have any wood around anywhere? I guess there's a little bit by Red's territory, but I'm just, nobody else, they must be fighting him. I mean, how could he be fighting on so many fronts? Certainly very impressive. Um, all right. You guys do this. Have you guys do this. You guys finish here, here, here. Get you guys down there. Harrison, thank you, man. No, no, it's, no need to donate, man. I appreciate it. Just, you just hanging out is, is all we need, brother. All right. So these guys could probably be deleted. Free up supply for the inevitable push. Although I guess I could have built just built a dock right there. But the food is still popping. Um, oh, that's right. We have that like mass horde of dread sheep down there. Okay. We need to. You. Yes, my minions. Yes, rise. Rise, my goats. Forgot we had all these sheep in the corner here. That's why these pastures are basically dead weight. I'm at like the sheep cap right now, which is hilarious. Um, no relics laying around. Is there any way I could trade? Yeah, I could trade with that dock. What do, we, what do we have here? These are these are siege workshops. Yeah, we're still in it, baby. Still going strong. <laughs> All right. So what is this? Elite uh, Kashyyyk healing. Oh, that's pretty good. Granted, uh, I don't think we have the gold to sustain that. So let's grab the goodies here. <laughs> if we can. This might be the last FFA. This one's gone pretty long. Okay, so you guys um, need to just go claim these berry bushes for the berry bush god. Our eco is still at 51, so it's not the worst thing in the world. You need to get some sweet raiding going. It is very annoying trying to take out Mongols. It's like super annoying. Oh, I just have this random STC over here. Holy shit, that's funny. Let's go see if I can like settle up in the north. Enemy destroyed. Okay, Whisper's dying. The tyrant is falling! Maybe. I don't know. Oh god. Why is he over here? Oh, he's going after yellow, probably. Oh god. Okay, guys. So here's what we're doing, okay? We are going down to the bottom. We're going down to Party Town again. With our Cognate army, which has been awesome. 
Go, my minions. Relocate. <laughs> yes. Yes, Kagane Palace. Yes. Okay. So how's this going? This little this little town center. It's it's zipping up there, dude. The crappy part is I only have two landmarks. Oh my god! Look at Red. He's like, he's chasing, dude. Oh no. Okay. Do we still have these? Yeah, we do. Okay, great. Okay, the Khan has been killed by Red once again. Um, the party bus is, is coming down here. So we are going to go ahead and set up shop here. Alright, great. He said sorry. He's apologizing. Oh god, the cannon overlord, dude. He's back. Okay, guys. Time of heroes. Time of heroes. Uh, did my TC make it? It did not. It looks like it got killed. Oh, man. Kaganate Palace needs to make some dudes. Let's go load the dudes onto here. This is our OG town center. Um, we do have the silver tree hiding there, which is good. Let's actually keep it in its like ground form. Here we go, dude. Player wonders why everyone's teaming up and then just manages to crush them all at once. Today on the 5 o'clock news. <laughs> Alright, let's go, baby. I feel like this guy is like a conqueror player. I don't know, I'd have to see. At least Diamond. He has had a ton of wealth. I've enveloped the blob. Okay, that's good to know. You guys ready for the Haggard Raid? Round two? Can anyone kill the trade? <laughs> Gondor will answer the call. Go, my minions. We ride. Ride now for wrath, for ruin. Yeah, the red sun rises. Alright, so let's do this. Start karate chopping farms, getting that sweet bounty. Oh, he's probably... The rage boner must be just fully erect right now. Okay, so we've taken these guys out. Let's just attack. Get in there. Yes, look at all the resources I'm getting. Yes. Yes, give them to me, precious. Oh god, he's coming. Okay, so we do that, and then we have you guys take out this and this. We're gonna load up for round two. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> All right, let's just run to the other side of the base here. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like we're losing some fishing. Oh shit, okay, he's got he's got quite a bit. All right, let's just run here then. Oh, the relics, okay. Hold up, if I had some warrior dudes here, I could take those, that'd be sweet. Playing versus like multiple opponents is so frustrating sometimes. It's just like having to deal with all that micro. All right, let's see if we can get lucky and like maybe whip some of these out. Maybe grab those relics at some point. I don't know. Okay, we killed the trade posts, which is great. Now we're going to take down these, so he has to replace them. I know. He's a dark lord, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> do. Do host. All right, we fully loaded up here. Not quite. Okay. Go, my minions. The blessed dread calls. Oh man, I'm gonna get a bunch of money if we can actually get him here. That's for damn sure. You know, it'd probably be better than this. Okay, so let's get you back on the tree line. He said, dude, just Chelsea blasted my last army, so I doubt it. Oh man, I love the conspiracies. I still think he's, he's definitely hurting now because we just did a lot of damage there. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Look at our haggard wa our haggard legion here, dude. Alright, let's get up here and start torching some shit. Okay, so let's get in an attack. He ain't dead. I see I see a fat army on the horizon here. Oh yeah, we're gonna get all those traders. 
Okay, let's go land you over here. Doing a little split pushing action. Nice, we just killed all the trade. That's money. Horsemen are good units. Okay. He's got a nice base though, man. It's really, really nicely developed. Keep looking around. We got the Rams poking away. We've idled Vils. God, how rich is this guy, man? He's just like a like a a tyrant over here. What the hell is this? Did we just randomly send a siege workshop over here? Okay. Are we gonna get the TC? I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna let that happen again. Go transport ship, get back. Alright, so our raid has been dispatched for now. Could go in for round 10. Uh, let's see if I can get some stuff on the shore to deal with them there. Okay, come on, buddy. Time of heroes. Let's go. All right, where are the nest of bees at? Come on. He's like just doing like zero damage. Oh my god, the wall. Oh, the wall breach isn't done well enough. Oh, okay, that, that's a problem. Oh, 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 you guys ready for this? The plays? Oh, come on. <laughs> he is this. He keeps saying he's dead and then shows up with these like 200 stacks of like max quality units. All right, let's waddle. Let's waddle away here and see what we can do. And we need to get some more monks in case we have success. You ready? Here we go. Come on, don't notice it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's, just, that's so good, dude. This is fucking rat in his... Just this fucking rat in his base. Just this vermin, this subhuman troll. Oh, God, that's funny, dude. Oh, man. Just little shit like that is just hilarious. All right, so... um. You need to bring some repairs out here. <laughs> All right, I got a couple workers. Let's start with the tower. Here. <laughs> it's like he's probably just like this fucking guy, dude. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's load up here. Oh god, that's just like tears of laughter, shit, dude. Not only does the rat troll you, but he. Uh, I'm actually like trying to win, though. I'm not just like. This, to me, this is the best route I have to winning, which is extremely slim. But, um, you know, I'm taking my, my chances here. Okay, let's repair this up. Oh god, oh god. Kill it. Alright, we're free. Oh, let's set up some docks here, actually. Oh, my tower is trolling them. Let's get that out of the way. All right, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it didn't do any damage. Holy shit. Okay. Hey, T-Rex. That Wololo is a thing of beauty. Thank you, man. Okay. Now we go back and look for look for our sweet loot. Do you have an army here? Holy. Dear God. What is that? Oh, God. The militia. Not only do they have on them, dude. Okay. So let's like load up, get you guys in here, we're loading up, we're doing a little raiding right now. I, I love the rat play style, I've done it many times before, it's not something I'm super practiced at, like, you know, but we, 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 have, we have our fun. We can't, they can't like make the mistake of taking the pressure off this guy, he's clearly super far ahead. Okay. We did some good villager damage. Alright. And uh, we need to get like a ram over here actually to go fix that wall situation. Oh! Just 
friggin' Bruce are strong now, man. Yeah, I've, I've been kind of out of the out of the loop with the newest patch and stuff, but they seem pretty good. All right, let's get you guys go take this down. Reduce some of the issues we're having. Houses are like the the low hanging fruit here, so we go for those. Keep you here in case we get the relics. Let's go attack these farms here. And the ram should be on its way over there. Slowly but surely. There it is. Okay. Okay, we're getting farms, which is money. Make some towers here. Why the hell not? Oh, God. He's still got a whole nother force, dude. We're going to lose this fight. Okay. Let's get these guys creeping up the side to try and get the relics. Maybe this Streltsy, if we could just kill this Streltsy, will, you know, be in good shape. Ooh, nice. Okay, not bad. Let's keep making more of you guys. We're waddling to go get his relics. He's fighting hard for those relics. He, he definitely wants them. I feel like the coalition of like attacking him is kind of weakening. It seems people are giving up a little bit on it. Um, all right, let's pull you back. What the hell is this thing? A siege workshop? All right, let's go get set that up there. He's really was not happy about what happened earlier. He doesn't want to want the memes to be on his face. All right, so we'll keep trying. Uh, what's our? Oh man, our eco is really bad. We need to replenish that shit stat. Um, do we have any more town centers around? I know we had that in the middle. All right, so literally nothing to farm here. We have this tree line, which is nice. Yeah, because I've been like sending waves of villagers over, so it's been kind of hurting our eco. But it's the only way we've been getting gold also. I mean, it's, oh, we do have the trade route now too, which is nice. Okay, so we got that one, and then we have this. Yeah, we got to rebuild our villagers. <clears throat> all right. Let's get you guys in there. Oh, it's all filled up. All right. I got to go get in on some of this money, dude. Some of this exchange of goods. Uh, probably need to also get... Yeah, we don't have an, we don't have an Uvu, which sucks. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's actually really nice. We finally got the warrior monk, guys. So they might be able to jack the relics. That's that's like the breadwinning action there for sure. He says, "Take your relics." <laughs> He's like, "I've been I've been defeated." He knows I'm just the rat, I'm just looking for the trash, dude. I'm just I'm like a New York City rat, just digging through the dumpsters here. All right, so let's get you guys. Let's load up. We have this. Uh, we don't need you guys, really. Let's park you down here. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. This is this is looking pretty bleak for our boy here. The tyrant has finally been brought down. Trades. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Definitely don't want to, like, take the brunt of this army if I don't have to. All right. Maybe we win this fight. We'll see. All right. Let's take you guys over. Grab the relics. Get the Rams going. It looks like we just barely won that fight. Oh. He's done. He has fallen. The tyrant is down. Riding dirty. We're taking our goods and leaving. Okay, let's go see if there's more. There is. Go get in the, go get in the getaway ship. Getaway ship. Give me that loot! I know there's another one back here somewhere. How dare you, dudes? Look at this guy. Look at yellow here, dude. Just pure villainy. Just trying to trying to ruin my day. Thankfully, I have more guys here who can grab the relics. Let's go up here. Grab this. Uh, grab that. Oh my god, he's really denying these, huh? Okay, let's get this one back just to be safe. Mm, he might be able to get it from me. He's got a better army here. Okay, 
Okay, let's get you down here and here. Gotten one relic back safely, so let's go drop that off. And then we come over here. You know, we need to take this guy down if we can. Alright, oh, and he's, he's bringing another relic back for me. Great. Alright, cool. So let's get you guys loaded up, have you get in here. And I think most of the monks have been taken down. Yeah, I don't think he has any more nearby. That's great. Alright, so let's load you up. The fight for the relics continues, but I think he's eventually going to get them. We'll keep trolling him to the best of our abilities, but these guys are pretty tanked. Let's go grab this relic and come back. Alright, so that one's down. You better drop that. You guys come up, come reinforce. Gonna need a little bit of help securing these. Alright, I'm not unhappy with that. We got like a couple relics at least. It's gonna be pretty much impossible to get this last one. Maybe I can do like a secret agent, like grab. He's got a lot of horsemen, dudes. These are Gazi riders too. Okay. We needed some spears out. Oh, I just sent my boat up there. That's a shame. We have the prayer tent down there, which is really funny. Hey, you know what? We're two relics richer than we were before. We can even throw down some tithe barn shit. Okay, let's grab our military. Uh, we can get the Kashyyyks upgraded. We can actually make some now, get some decent quality fighters. It's our other town center. I love how Yellow and I are just like trundling for, for all these goodies. Yeah, I think he's got... Oh, hello. Why have you not dropped that off? Oh, it's because they get included in the all army select button. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's definitely a weird one how that goes. Yeah, two for four ain't bad. I'll take it. He's probably going to get the other ones. Although I'm going to still make an effort for it, but... I did kill a lot of scholars there, so maybe maybe we'll be able to do something. Okay, so we need to get um, naval food going again. We have a little bit here. Oh, didn't quite get dropped off. How are we looking at barracks? Cool. Looks like the old alliances are fading rather quickly. Hey, we actually do have a relic here. Nice. We might be able to get this one. We have a uh, decent quality troops now. Mm, he's got spearmen coming in. That's not good. But we are fighting in a choke point, which is awesome for us. Um, so maybe, just maybe, we can ha make it work. Oh, can we get the relic? Like, push through the mass? Did you have the warrior men? Uh-oh, he's flanking them. Is he going to low low here? That would be the problem. Hmm, yeah, I think we're just zerged. I think he's just got too much here. I need to, like, get some stuff over there and, like, pillage this base. I think that's all the relics, though. Those Kashyyyks fought well. I don't even know if they're fully upgraded right now. Food sucks, dude. It majorly sucks. Hmm, can delete the... Nah, we can keep him. Yeah, I guess a indecis indecision will be my the death of me here. I need to get some food online. Jesus, I thought I had fishing here. Do I not? Alright. So we're going to slowly start rebuilding our food eco. We're pretty much empty on it right now. Let's get you guys TC'd up here. Yeah, what happened to our food? Man, okay. Switch you guys over there. We get 33 of you. Let's go get on the food here. And those guys will live. Yeah, the relics are gone now, so maybe he'll lose interest. Not perceive me as like a threat, which is good. It's exactly what we want. Give him the hooey hooey pow. I know, we're trying, dude. You need to go see if there's any scraps in that old base to take down is what we need to see. A new con rises. All right, cool. Let's go see if there's any ruins with which we can uh, get our Mongolian bounties. Oh, my horsemen weren't even elite. That's why that went so badly. Jeez. 
Alright. Here we go, baby. Yeah, I mean, I need a lot of things. Towers being one of them. Alright. We have, like, a fair amount of towers all over the place. Let's go see if we can get any Mongolian bounty action. Um, probably do need a blacksmith here. Pastures can send their dread sheep over here. Looks like mostly has been cleaned up here. Yeah, there's rams still going at it. We're going to build our own rams and just... Oh, look at that. It actually attacked my building. It's funny. Alright. Let's go farming. Dogonate Palace being pretty badass. Our eco is back up to 108, which is nice. Three. Send these sheep back to the corner. They can go on the long journey here. The Fellowship of the Sheep. Oh, I think he cut off the gravy train. No, he didn't. Okay, I don't know why that stopped. That was weird. Probably just need two. It's fine. Make some old rams. Make another ram here. And is there any sort of action we could work with? Um, I'm not seeing... Let's set up, like, just towers to kind of keep tabs on the space. So we can see if somebody's, like, flanking from that direction. Oh, the, the rally point must be bad. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting a little bit of gold now. It's not the worst, not the best. Um, we need to get our blacksmith upgrades if we haven't already, so we probably want to get siege engine health. All of these. Two, three, four, five. I'm here for the scraps, baby. Yeah, I'm. I'm surprised that we've endured. I mean, there is there is something to be said about being not being perceived as a threat. You know, there's definitely something to be said about that. What the hell is this? Really? These rams trying to steal my real estate here. Look, they're escorting the sheep back. Yeah, the trade trade would be nice if we could secure some middle trade or something. That would be that would be primo. All right, looking good, looking good. It's pretty much the last of the base there, so we can take the re remainders of our army, our random ass cognate palace army. It's just the most wild, random units all over the place. Still have wood. I mean, gold is... Everybody on the map is basically out of gold now, right? It's just like a, a matter of uh, if, if they have trade or not. I suspect that that is some nastiness. Yeah, I don't have all my landmarks. I have the step readout up here, which is uh, in hiding at the moment. Let's go see what we can do here. Getting a little, I'm getting like weird lag spikes here and there. Mm, trade post is being guarded. It seems like there's some heavy. Oh, hello, yellow's trading there. Dark Age Rush. Yeah, he's he's been Dark Age Rush is. We've had an interesting relationship this game. Dark Age Rush and I. We'll send you up here to go grab that, and then you guys. Is there any other resources? I seriously doubt those are still there, but we're gonna go check anyways. <laughs> yes, take red and wear it as your own. <laughs> Oh, uh, Red was really good this game. I mean, he's clearly a great player. We're just kind of jacking this point. Set up a siege workshop here. We're going to take the sacred site. I need to accumulate as much wealth as I possibly can. You know, that's that's basically it. That's basically it. Stone, we're getting a little bit. Get a ram. Can homie get it? Oh, Vu here? Oh god, probably not. Oh my god. Is it still there? The power fantasy was almost real. I mean, I seriously doubt there's any resources left in this neighborhood. We're just gonna go check anyways. Alright. Hey! Wow. Sweet Christmas. We got a little bit of lag here. Is it my end? Nope, I don't like it. Uh, so people are making peace. Wow, we just found a gold node with 3,000 gold on it. That's, uh, that's Christmas, alright. Rams just soloing everything. 
All right, bounty. We're up to 150 something on the uh, on the villager count, which is pretty sauced. Could probably delete these guys now that I have fishing, but we could also bring them up north to have them see if they can find any scraps. Leave a couple of you guys here on the sheep. The sheep who made the great exodus. Um, okay, I see an army coming. Are they attacking something? No, it looks more like they're gathering. We don't have a Nuvu. There's literally no way of us getting one right now. Should have built the other landmark. Granted, the... Um, yeah, the other one's been good. Alright, so we do this, 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 this. Take this down, and then uh, take that. Just farming all cozy and happy right now. You guys in the front of the base. Looking good. Yes. Give me the carpal tunnel with all the clicking. Well, well that was that was that was short lived. Yellow's yellow is, is generous to an extent. There there's limits to this stuff. Yeah, we definitely don't want to destroy that dock. Jeez. We have our silver tree hiding in the shadow. Nanny Yori's here. Don't mind me. Nanny Yori says bye to her. Oh, never gonna get that separate out back online. Friendly rat in corner with no G. Hey, look, those units are actually allowed to live. That's cool. Oh. How are people not taking these resources? Okay, we're, we were just kidding. It was just a prank. Let's see if we could, like, aggro them away here. Yeah, perfect. Oh, no, they're coming. It's pretty hotly contested over there, it would seem. Um, we are trading. It's not the best trade, but it's not insignificant either. Um, our army is pretty janky. Let's knock these down. We have to let the other like adults in this game fight, you know? We have to let the uh, we have to let the big boys go. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's just go. Lose that. Um, we're at 133 anyways. We're way too high in the eco department right now. Any more wood? Shit, dude. Is it really becoming one of those kind of games? It looks like it. Yeah, we need to squeak over here. Hey, they still live. We're being allowed to take that too, which is cute. All right. So yeah, we're just kind of like on vacation right now. Um, I think there's a couple more upgrades we can get. Yeah, I don't really care for that right now. Pasture. We have that. Towers are coming. I mean, our, our, our resources are pretty blank, uh, bleak. Everyone's basically trading right now. Some people are just trading better than others. <clears throat> like, I'm the shitlord of trade. Oh, God. Let's come over here and help out. Hey, what's going on here? Why, why are these ramps appearing in my lands? You need to you need to stop right now, dude. Go forth, my my torches. Nanny looks like they're just scouting, just taking down random towers, things like that. They got the middle. That's a lot of warrior monks, I know. That's my that's my whole army. You gotta love it. Kagane is all I got. Man, more rams? Am I really a threat to to them? Hmm. I guess uh, I guess I might be perceived as one, yeah. Yellow, he's just south of here. Wait. You two think I am the threat? Are they actually like scheming against me? Holy shit! I mean, I'll take it as a compliment if they come and kill me, but yeah, I don't know. I for sure will. The only thing I'm good for is Haggard Ram Attacks. That's, that's the only thing I've been able to really contribute this game. Okay, so let's see if we can clear these guys out. The Warrior Monks are healing our army, which is really funny. Um, not enough stone to do a whole lot. You can make a market where you're going to start chopping by wood by red. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Absolutely, that's kind of the idea. Looks like we're able to take down that, that raggedy army there. Um, still at 136. We're hitting the wood pretty hard here. I don't know if that upgrade's worth getting, but it could be could be pertinent. Give me all the scraps, baby. I thought they were like conspiring against me for a second. I was like, if they really perceive me as the threat, that, that must be a weird game elsewhere, huh? Um, yeah, and we can get gun. Yeah, we need to get like fully upgraded finally. Okay, so it looks like they magically spotted my goodies. So these vills are going to just have to flee the scene. Could dive the artillery. I mean, the army's not that big. Alright, let's go down here. Loop you guys around. The villagers can swarm with their little daggers. And then they can run. I mean, I wasn't going to. But now... Alright. So we gotta work a little politics. We Our haggard rat tactics were partially responsible for taking down the tyrant, I feel. Okay, let's get you and you. And uh, we need to probably free up some supplies somehow. Hey, there's actually some wood here. Nice. Give us a little spot to work with. It's just the roost knights just on their way over. It's hilarious. These are arbalists, so just making horses is probably the way. Alright, so let's get you down. Um, we can get some spears in the mix, just because they don't really cost much. Rudel, thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard, my friend. Yes. Ah, God, the rams curse him. Yeah, so we'll just get all these guys going over here. Fortunately, those bills are going to have to flee the scene. Don't know how far they're going to make it. Probably going to get harried. Let's uh, see if we can run run some interference. Oh, they're going to make it relatively far. That's nice. Um, do I have any archery ranges? I don't think I do, actually. Okay, interference helped a little bit. Not too much. We are overkill on bills anyway, so as we lose them, it's not the end of the world. Okay, back you go here. Middle's being contested. Nanu is still alive. This one, uh, yeah, could could take a while to end, for sure. Could take a long time. Where do we see a wonder? Uh, no. There's no, there's no wonder, is there? Dark Age Rush? Oh, and then there's a, a wonder on this side, okay. Sounds good. Wonder time. Just leave me be here and let me do my gremlin business. And uh, where did I send all those wood villagers? Were they, they're not all really here, are they? Okay, so we're going to cruise that way. Holy shit! Oh, the villagers wanted blood. Alright, so... Hmm, what do we got here? I think I lose race now. Oh, Nanny's going for the race too. Holy shit. Well, whoever deletes, I'm just going to have to... Whoever doesn't have the win, uh, delete it, and I help. Typing is kind of painful right now, so I'm just going to kind of get away from that. All right, easy peasy. Yellow lost the race. Let's go. All right, Andy Ori's got it. It's uh, it's on. We have zero wood income. I'm going to get some more bills over this way. Oh, boy. Um, anything else we want to get? Probably everything else we can set up here. Let's make it some Kashyyyk's too while we're at it. We have the dreaded Hui Hui Pals too, which is so cool. Okay, Nanny's like over there, yeah, in the in the great the great yonder. Let's do this. Um, we can have a couple of you guys set this up here. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. Grab you guys. How many do we have? And we can go ahead and switch the route here. I think it'll be a little bit better. All things considered. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, should be good. Okay, got to start up in the old rams. Let's see how well uh, the defense is. I don't really have any heavy siege now. I have the Hui Hui Pao, but that's about it. Ooh! 
Time to move through a thousand stone walls. Yeah, it's the case. I'm look. I'm just happy that I've lived this long and I'm still kind of actually a contender now. I was like, I was a potato for so long, and now that we're kind of in it, it's pretty cool. All right, where's the hui hui pow? It's coming. Uh, what do we delete here? Probably. Oh, here comes blue. So we're gonna want to keep this. Blue mustering a defense force. All right, so we need to get you guys on the trees. Let's set up these towers. Take down the blue defenders. All the hui hui pow can start knocking down the walls here. All right, outstanding. All right, Rams. I think it's still Age of Rams. Oh, he deleted his market. Son of a gun. Is there any other trade? Yeah, we can try for this now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, it looks like he deleted his market. How dare you, dude? You know? I thought we were allies here. I thought we were, we were good pals. That was actually a pretty hot trade route there. Alright, so the Hui Hui is making progress. Slowly knocking these down. I'm gonna need some uh, more military tech here. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Cool. Fire it up. Yes, the, the janky battles of battles. Uh, cannon tower, cannon tower, and spring all tower is fine. We're going to grab our traders, unfortunately, and uh, delete those bad boys when we can. Hopefully yellow is attacking him too. And we can make some progress here. I'm going to kind of pull back a little bit. Almost got it down, but this choke point fight isn't like helping us a ton. All right, so now we got the new stuff here. Um, yellow probably putting pressure on. Oh, cannon's coming in. Okay, we can go take that cannon down real quick. That'd be nice. Let's make some hand cannoneers. Yeah, we lost our trade route, so gold's pretty much offline now. Shouldn't have done that. It's going to make this push way harder. You should have done it like after. All right, let's grab our military. Uh, we need to get the Kagane Palace military. Rallying this way too. And yeah, maybe the mangoes will get it done. Who knows? We got hand cannoneers coming in. Uh, then what we need to do next is set up a bunch of stables. Which is basically going to bankrupt us of wood and primary resources. Alright, let's keep it up. Let's go team. Let's go team. Delete the traders. Progress is progress. The army's getting worn down. Even if I'm just like poking him, maybe it's gonna allow the more powerful of, uh, of our duo here to do well. Yeah, a lot of lot of nastiness here. Do have these cannon towers here. Probably get archers maxed out. Although he's got a lot of horsemen, so the archers aren't gonna be amazing. Hand cannoneers, go! Let's take whatever potato units we can find. Yeah, just horsemen, but man, wood is just so sparse too. Alright, we gotta delete these guys. Sucks, dude. Uh, the Mongols' fallen silver tree, I think is... Oh, that's right, I might still be able to trade with that. Yeah, oh well. I, I didn't remember it, so... I paid the price. It's gonna be too much to rebuild all those guys now. Alright, that's basically what we got. I'm gonna have to start spending gold, which sucks. Uh, yellow. You attacking? I wonder if he is. Nandu should be attacking also. We are doing decent damage. Sounds good. Hmm. Alright, keep knocking down the old walls. Keep the siege push going. We don't really have enough to uh, party like we want to, like it's 1999. It's more like partying, you know, 2010. Not as fun. Oof, that's a good army there. I don't know. We don't have the resources to really sustain this. Make some Kashyyyks, I guess. Yeah, we're fighting. We're putting a little pressure on them. They're losing units, at least. Yeah, I don't know if you can trade with Silver Tree that is um, undeployed. If it's that, I'm going to try it. If you can, then that would be really cool. Maybe we'll learn something new today. All right, let's gather you guys up. Gather you guys up, make some hand cannoneers. Man, all that gold I built up for the past like half hour is gone. Alright, let's pull back to the towers. No sense in just dying out there. We got the con now too. Alright. 
Get a critical mass of units. Uh, can you trade with the Fallen Silver Tree? It doesn't look like it quite registers. Like, I don't think it... Nope, it doesn't. And this middle area would be really nice to get. My step, my step readout's still chilling there, too, from earlier. Okay, let's gather up. Get a little ham network, as I like to call it. Start pounding this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get some mangoes. We've got the dreaded walls. Oh, God. The separate out's been there for, like, hours, dude. Since the beginning of this game, it's been just AFK on those lands. Anything I could I even get up on the walls and take him? I don't think I could. Yeah, let's see if we can do any damage here. We'll, we'll give it a try. Don't know if the horseman can even go on the walls, so no, it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, we just pay the price. Okay, so we just need to get these mangoes, and that should knock them off, no problem. Alright, let's get you, and let's get you to bonk here. Knock him down. If the spring alts come out, we'll just rush with horses. There we go. Alright, they got knocked off there. Alright, let's keep springing him. I'm shooting a random horseman, which is fine. These mangoes. Oh, you know, I'm getting stuck on this stupid building here. I was wondering why this like pathing was so awkward for my army. I'm stuck on the uh, on the building, yeah. Nice. That was a good shot there from the mangoes. Very clutch. All right, let's go knock this down if we can. Do a little bit of a bum rush at the gate. We got the Hui Hui Pow here. Should be another one coming from the base. The Kaganate Palace. Hui Hui. Let's move you in. All right, let's go, team. Let's go. Keep rushing the old gate. Doesn't look like it's working. And the mangoes are getting popped in the face by the springs. All right, just keep the attrition going. Maybe throw some rams in there. Why, why the hell not? Come on, boys. Take it down. Free springs. Yes, they came past the gate. A little bit of a miss micro there. I'll take the scraps, dude. Whatever scraps we can get. All right. So now we do this. This, 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 this. Yeah, hopefully we're putting pressure on them so the other players can cackle. I mean, we're making progress. It's just very slow. There's like random ass villagers here just doing battle. Just that Howard Dean yells at the gods going down. All right, looks like he's he's moving a lot of his army here now, which is good. Hopefully the other players can thrive. Let's like knock down random holes in these walls to try and make it easier for the homies. Oh man, we're gonna have to make hand cannoneers with the last of our money just to be doing something. It's mostly range units in his army actually. We have these cannon emplacements too, which is nice. All right, let's shoot you guys on the head with a little bit of bonking action. Ooh, all right, four minutes left on the wonder. I mean, Nanny's probably got this, right? Like, it seems like the other players are just not nearby. Maybe they are. Apparently this was the weak spot in the base that he didn't like fortify as well, so. Uh, we probably need to get some springs. I don't really, I don't think I even have the upgrades for him though. It's pretty funny. He has a lot of horsemen, yeah. He's probably all in. I mean, he's been saving for a while, and he's French, so. Okay, let's move you guys up. Uh, start shooting at these. The hui hui pow. Start knocking down that keep there. Just got to keep doing our part, man. That's it. That's all we can do. Okay, we've, we've put a dent in this army down here. Pull the dreaded villagers. Send them to war. Hui hui pow, come on baby. Knock it down. Marvel of engineering. Alright, spring alts on the right targets. Horsemen dive. Get horsemen here. Archers. 
Every bit of uh, pressure we can put on is, is going to make a difference here. Almost got the keep down. Alright, let's do this. I don't want to lose any time on mining, so we're going to do that. Come on, keep. Down you go, buddy. Let's make some kashiks. Some master archers. Oh! We've been running into stiff resistance. Really, really stiff. Finally, I feel like I made some progress. With my dreaded zero gold income. Yeah, he's got a lot. Yeah, he does indeed. You guys are you guys ain't joking. Make some rams. Come on. Knock it down. Alright, so let's move you up and do this. Set up here. Get a tower. Just get a little cannon in placement here. Okay, he's gonna dive the hui hui here. We need to cut him off. Come on, team! We fought too long and hard just to die here. All right, let's start hooying that thing. We'll just kind of type like defend, so we can maybe take that down. He's got mangoes. Ugh. He's got the dreaded mango. Let's get another spring here. We do have one. God damn, that is a lot of artillery. He's so rich. He's probably just been spamming those. Okay, little spring, all that could. See how many you can kill. Fire! Man, it took one down, shit. Oh, minute 59, man. Not looking too hot. He's, uh, I, I suspect nobody else is really close either. I think I'm probably the closest one here. Which is not a good sign. Um, Alright, let's just start making traps because we might just have to do a trap dive if we have a little bit of time. Okay, yeah, so we need to dive right now. Oh, oh, never mind, he's still here. I thought he was going to fight somewhere else, so. Oh, God. My poor Kashyyyks are going to get steamrolled by that Chad French Knight army. Keeps it half health. Oh. Uh, yeah, um, Yellow, if you left market, I wouldn't have run out of gold. Yeah, man, if, Ye if Yellow hadn't deleted the market, I think I could have pushed. Because I had good gold income there. <sighs> it's such a shame. We had progress. One minute left here. You just got to ride through at this point. I mean, ride now for Wrath, for Ruin, all that kind of good stuff, right? He didn't expect to get out. Yeah, Nanny was waiting to pull the trigger. I didn't delete my guy. You accidentally, you killed it accidentally? With what? I have nothing to kill it over there. There's no way. I think he deleted it. All right, let's ride through. We're going for it. We're going the distance, baby. All hands on deck. Ride now, haggard horseman. If they give a, give a glimmer of hope to our allies. Oh, God. Oh, dear God, French. You know, to be fair, I couldn't do anything about Nanny this whole game. I was busy. Dear God. Look at that. Look at this shit. With the Arbalist upgrades and the Red Palace. GG, well played. Good game. Oh my God, dude. Your Ram killed it after the walls? Oh, if that's true, then yeah, then I obviously screwed the pooch on myself. I don't think we would have won anyways. I don't think we would have. <laughs> Even with Guild, after seeing this, I'm just like, yeah, I don't think it would have mattered. Holy shit. Literal keep wall, I know. Let's see how nasty this is. I had less than 10k gold for this, and this was all Guild Hall. Wow. Wow, okay, please don't crash. I want to look at the map. It's funny because I was thinking Wonder soon too, but I, I don't think I would have been able to hold. I was, I was pretty behind. It's like lagging. There's so many keeps being revealed right now. The game is like straight up frozen. Nanny was helping with Red, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because Nanny was uh, neighbors with Red. Yeah, it's tricky. By killing Red, we made Nanny a tyrant. But Red had to go because Red was killing me. So my best play was to be political there. Come on. You can do it. Oh, uh, fight. Sorry, guys. I'm just waiting. Uh, wait for program to respond. Sometimes if you do that, it'll it'll try and save the course. I'm trying to see if we can load in. It crashed for you too? Okay, here we go. Nope. Here we go. All right. So here's where I was. I was like right here. 
the wonder was over here. The next closest player was like up here. Oh no, 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 like right here. Okay. So the pressure was mounting. We attacked right away. And yeah, we had Delhi coming here. Okay. Uh, you made me panic or I would have fought yellow. Yeah, no, I hear you. Holy shit. Yeah. So it was progress was being made. It wasn't like we needed another probably seven or eight minutes, which is not enough. No, I'm done for tonight, dude. That game was long as hell and my hand hurts. Um, damn, dude. What a game. Well played to uh, our mighty blue defender here. Yeah. Great, great stuff by uh, Nanny. Showing why French are good and why they're good also. Oh, they're a good player. Um, GG, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the stream, please do drop a like. We'll be back streaming more age soon, I promise. Uh, maybe even sooner than you think. Maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling a little bit crazy. I don't know. We'll, we'll feel it out, but... I appreciate you all. Super fun games tonight, man. Super ratty tactics. We had a really fun wonder hold in the first game uh, where I lost <laughs> with like two minutes left. And then uh, this was a crazy game too. I was just such a rat this whole game, dude. I was just such a gremlin, but we managed to survive um, multiple invasions. So, all right, guys, take care of yourselves. Commando, thank you for the uh, 20 bucks. Game was awesome. Well done. Hey, glad you enjoyed it. And hey, we had a donation earlier for 100. I missed it because it was through PayPal, but really enjoyed the AOE 4 streams. Glad to hear that there'll be more. Uh, that was an hour ago. If you're still here, my sincere thanks. That is huge, huge, huge. 1v1 stream? I'm not sure. Maybe the next one will be 1v1 focused. We'll do some like casted matches and things like that. Maybe King of the Hill. That'll be fun. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. And uh, that is going to be it for today. Sigmar bless. And that is it.